Hello, and welcome to another episode of Don't Trust the Dungeon Master. My name is Alex K, and I am one of those players. Welcome to episode 56 of Primaris Paradox. Um, as far as announcements, uh, I don't really have any. Does anyone have an announcement they wish to share? No. Uh, 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 Arcalia. I was going to do that in a it, different, uh, different way. God, what? When? <laughs> Uh, I was going to do a private video about it and put it in the playlist uh, for Arkelia. Uh, but, but the people... Uh, the... Yeah, just you now it's brought up. Arkelia ca uh, campaign closed prematurely, so that's all. Did it? It did? Yep. Oh. Uh, uh, TPK? Nope. Yep. <laughs> oh, just, uh, just this? Yeah, there's a scheduling uh, conflicts and stuff like that. Got it. Uh, oh, I won't be here tomorrow, uh, next week, uh, likely. Highly likely, so I don't want to have people put into their calendars to mark this down. So I'll just basically say that I'll probably be out next week. Got it. Are we still doing the, the, the running with only three of them? Uh, I don't mind. A long time ago. I, I do not play? mind. I do not mind box playing my character or something. I, I really yeah, we'll we'll try it next week. Because I did say I wanted to try it the next time someone was gone. I, and, I'm, Frack is, you know, he's a great character, but I don't think he's narrative rele like, like not relevant. He's narrative. This is not relevant. my story. He's this not is a not main my character story. for this story. Art though. relevant. Yeah. yeah. So right. I don't mind you playing my character for me, mm. and please have fun. Try it. Okay. Uh, we already see everyone roll a d6, and duplicates are okay. Uh... Oh, what the hell is this new damn thing? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, God, I hate changes. I, you know, I hate changes. I don't... I, hold on. I gotta roll my... Oh, D6. I'm a wizard. Oh. Oops. All right, wait, wait, let's. All right, there's a red one. Let, let's got to change the color of this one. This has to be blue. We we gotta know who it belongs to. I'm changing the color now for this one. Oh my god! Why? I grabbed it from my no, section, no, no, color coded. No. That's why. Okay, all right, fine. We, you know, whatever color you choose, I know who they belong to. Everyone, good. dice in the air. Hey, right. hey, right. yeah. Is it just me or is it the table has no grid? The table has no grid right now. I was uh, oh. taking a screenshot for uh, for that funny guy who likes to use the the shitty, terrible artwork everyone does. Oh, there's, there's two doubles. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I said... You're the only one out! <laughs> I said duplicates are okay, so we gotta move on. The highest of all come up with a name for an establishment corresponding with your role. No mechanic theme. In Grand Manor no. Port Fort. Fort? Castle Jail. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, the highest roll would be the fours, so either four, go ahead and start. And it's supposed to be a fort. Um, yeah, a name for a fort with a gnome and mechanic theme. Or mechanic, you know, it could go either way. Fort. Bark Waggle. I love it. Alright. <laughs> Next on the list. Banana, I need a name for a fort, please. Uh, let's go with uh, <laughs> uh, damn, gnome. Okay, how did you come up with one so quickly? <laughs> Sparks. How did you come up with one so quickly? A good one, um, isn't it? Yeah, it's no, uh... Uh... Clog wrench. <laughs> Skip me for a second. Oh, sorry, it's it's highest to lowest. Oh, you're okay, you're okay. up. Uh... Cogwheel. Fort Cogwheel. Alright. All right, we got Spark Waggle and Cogwheel. Next, we need some ports, all right? Some lovely port names. Uh, let's start with uh, Sweep. Um, port? 
It's, um... That's right, a port name. Uh... Oh god, that's hard. For a gnome mechanic? Hey, no, uh, the theme is just gnome or mechanical. Gnome or mechanical? Yeah. Um, Uh, uh, port quick spark. Another spark. We're, we're getting a lot of spark theme now. I'm trying right? to stay away from the sparking. I'll type that out. All right. Gonna... Quick spark. And Mike, uh, your, your port, please. Harbor. Harbor. Wait, did she use spark too? Really? Yes. Dark iron. <laughs> Harbor no, Dark Iron. Not. That's that's oh, no, evil. That's evil sounding. <laughs> All right. And I have an inn. Well, let's do the. Uh, oh, maybe. yours is easy. Mine's easy. Because you have the inn. Uh, I'm not good with names. Well, let's let's just call it's it the. <laughs> no, it's not gonna be the short barrel. Let's let's just call it. Let's just call it. Um. Uh, let's call it in. I don't think I'm gonna win this one, guys. Wow. <laughs> uh, what can I say? I'm not going for the win. The name you like uh, the most chooses your recaps. Ah uh, no. Um. Cogwheel, Spark Waggle, Quick Spark, or Harbor Dark Iron. Dark uh, Dark the Iron. The inn is Harbor. called the Spritz Blitz. That's not what it's called. It's just called inn. <laughs> <laughs> that was my. That was mine. And uh, you know, I'm gonna say I might be in last place. The Spritz Blitz, right there. Great name. No, I'm in last place right now because I didn't come up with a good name. All right. Well, so who does? Now win? I like Quick Spark, but. I feel like, you know, it, it's just, it, it was stealing from Sparkwaggle. <laughs> what? Well, no, it's just lack of creativity. It was stealing from a prior one, stealing. so that loses some points in my eyes. <gasps> I wasn't stealing. I do like the Dark Iron Harbor, but that's For evil. No? That's evil. Or, or mechanic, right? You know, but... When I hear Dark Iron, I've been so jaded by World of Warcraft. I don't think mechanic. I think lava dwarfs with yeah. big, big dark armor. Yeah. I, I've been jaded by World of Warcraft on that one. Now I like Fort Cogwheel a lot because it sounds nice. It rolls off the tongue for me. I imagine the theme like you walk into a giant cogwheel. <laughs> I like that too. Oh man, Sparkwaggle, Sparkwaggle. I gotta give it to Fort Cogwheel. I'm I'm a fan of Fort Cog. That that has enough yeah, enough yeah. sort of grim behind the name to be a, a powerful fort, but also keeps the theme going well. Yeah, the it was a giant robot. Sparkwaggle. It was a giant robot, like giant sized right. godlike robot that just exploded, and one of the cogwheels just landed, and they made a fort out of it. But it's actually gnomish, so when I say giant, it's actually just a normal size robot. That come on, they could make giant robots. Anyways, you get to choose. You get to choose who recaps now. If the name I like chooses who recaps. Oh, cool! Uh, I love this part. I love this part a lot. Is there a third card? There, there might be. You could always choose me. <laughs> Let's know in advance if there's a trap card. <laughs> <laughs> Choose the DM. No. 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 The DM has chosen your character suffers from the plague. Lose ten con or recap. Oh. Up to you. Do you want a permanent minus ten con, or do you want to do the recap? Amelia will save Thrak with damage. So take that. Oh, you're, oh, you're gonna. Use, she uses a reaction. Yeah, she, she takes it. <laughs> I would let her, but she has a bunch of disadvantage from the shrimp comments, so uh, <laughs> it, it cancels oh, out here. Uh, I'll do. I'll do the recap. I'll do it really quick. 
I can't. We have an idea. So if if Laris wants to fill in blanks, I can, can just do the recap, baby. It's not that. No, bad. it's okay. Oh, no, I it's have right. it. No, it's an idea. Well, let's just see. This is probably gonna take a minute yeah, or but less. If we give your time and you just skip your time and give it to me, then we save more time. And you know, if you just let him start, we'd be saving plenty of time. All right. <laughs> all right. This is gonna piss. This is gonna piss Laris off. Something awful. All right, so Thrak shares what happened with Osiris. Thrak and Aurora withhold pertinent information about the deal that was made. We uh, eventually have discussions about that. Uh, after a while, we, we arrive at the uh, pirate island. Uh, when we uh, arrive, the captain goes off to a meeting. Uh, we walk around. We sort of investigate things. Romeo ends up stealing things, ends up letting us know he has crabs, which is cool. Uh, we have a talk with him about morals. Amelia convinces him to give back the stuff. Uh, pirates confront us about the stuff. There's a little bickering that happens. Amelia gives all of our stuff away, which is cool again. Uh, <laughs> I like after, that you described it as our stuff. Yeah, it was. It was. You bullied off of him. No, no, it was our stuff. He, he's part of the group. <laughs> and then, uh,. So then we go off to a pirate meeting. We meet all the pirates of the council. There's some really cool figures and characters there. They seem to have some internal rivalries going on, but that's part of the whole theme of uh, sort of some sort of democracy within this. Uh, however, it's all artificial. It looks like the queen has all the power. The queen ends up being the daughter of our captain. Uh, the captain offers an idol that controls a megalodon. In return for a ship and passage uh, to the uh, through the steam wall, uh, the queen and the uh, her her father, I guess, have uh, some back and forth talk, and there's some internal struggles there. Uh, ultimately, the queen wants to come with us on the trip, and we're going to use her ship. Uh, so we all head back and try to meet up. While doing that, Aurora is confronted. <laughs> Uh, we're always talking to Maeve, and then Powder Keg gets gets uh, Powder Keg gets a little little new information about um, <laughs> about a lost love. They uh, there's some internal strife going on with that. Some little bit of Riz competition. Mako ends up coming with us, uh, or at least uh, Maeve insists that Mako comes with us. Uh, so we end up getting a new ship and a new crewmate and we're all headed towards the steam wall. We get a really big one. Uh, there's also Amelia gets tossed something by uh, by Romeo uh, that he stole but it doesn't know who to return it to so there's something going on with that. that was and we also Ishtar. Ishtar it was given to Ishtar okay yeah. and then we also have um, the trinket that we uh, took from the island, who ends up actually being important to the uh, pirate queen, so we still have that task to resolve. So that's where we're at right now, and we're heading towards the steam wall with a bigger ship, a bigger crew. Now, if there's anything, anything anyone thought was uh, glanced over or missed, please, please let it, let me know right now. All right, going once, going twice. Sold. We saw a flame. I fucking hate to do this. I'm sorry, Laris. This is bad for content, but I'll be right back. There's something came. Okay. Good. Did I miss anything? No, I mean, that was covered. The the the, the There was just some small small things that really didn't matter in that the scope. All right. Just wondering because I probably missed a few things, but it was a bigger story. No, oh, it's pretty good. Oh, good. God, this new crew looks so cool, though. Look at this cat guy. But it doesn't have I.O. on it. William Crow. Or in it. Eleanor LeBeau looks like she's probably a cook or something. What? Yeah, look. I mean, she's wearing like an apron, isn't she? Or... No, no, she's not. It looks like an apron. Or some sort of a... The 
The cook's probably the cat. I think the cook is the cat? What about the goblin was the cook? I don't know if I would trust anything He's from the goblin. He's got a robot arm. God, it's so cool. Definitely isn't uh, Redman the Row. He looks like he's a cannoneer. Yeah, Eleanor looks too nice to be uh, a pirate. She's, she's got tats up the wazoo. Uh, she, and there's a skull on nice. her right arm. Yeah, tattoo. but... She's Nolan's yeah. kind of woman. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a pretty good, a pretty good uh, structure. Uh, I don't know. Al Alric is probably a more suitable specimen. <laughs> Cave. Cave and karate. Is this a kid's crate? Somebody's going to be karate? The cat is the cook. Too hairy. Too much hair in the food. It might not be a cat, it might be a wolf, actually. Does it kind of look like a wolf? Nah, that's a cat for sure. Look at the eyes. Cat eyes. Shifter. shifter. That would be too many shifters on the ship. It's like two. If too many shifters on the ship? Two is too many. So... Yeah, the Pirate Queen is probably a badass. It's a big ship. It's a big ship. What are the odds of having a ship battle with the uh, with the uh, um, the watch? Yeah, no, not that, that good. They're not gonna try to betray us. No, 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 no. Far watch, far watch. Getting a ship battle. Getting a ship battle with those. A ship battle with far watch. Well, they Gosh, they a pulled very us big over. Boat for... They pulled us over before. Yeah, but she's not gonna stop for them. That's what I'm saying. If they try. It's a big ship. Alright, I'm back. Hello, sorry about that. Uh, let's get right into these things, I suppose. So, yes, after, um, after Bananas, lovely, uh, lovely, uh, um, recap. You can have inspiration for this session. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> yes. All right. That was my uh, explanation. It's not fair. You, oh, that's why you wanted to do the recap. That's belongs to me. <laughs> you can, you know, you can give it to her if you want. You can uh -huh. give it to Amelia. Hey, hold out your. No, I'm kidding. She can't have it. She has too many counts of shrimp disadvantage. Oh, very shrimpist. Yeah, that's six counts. Um. All right. So your crew had. Uh, Disembark their scuttled ship, the, uh, what was it called? Seize the Day. The Seize the Day had seen its last voyage damage beyond any amount of suitable repair for the foreseeable future, left in the hands of the pirates here, uh, and boarded the Monarch, a much, much, much larger galleon with several cannons, a, a true pirate ship of, of the highest magnitude. This is like a flagship for pirates, essentially. Uh, the sails are black. They they bear they bear the king's horde symbol, um, and uh, yes, everyone is boarding. You would notice the captain, um, Stormfist. Guess he's not a captain anymore, right? No ship, no captain. Uh, <laughs> But you would notice uh, Stormfist would be talking to his crew, and as you would be boarding, you would probably hear the gist of it is like, if you guys, you know, if you guys want to cut out now, you've you've served your your purpose well. You're no longer necessary here. 
um, one of these boats in the harbor, they can take you back to uh, take you back to shore with little issue. It'll just take a long time. Um, but it seems like most of the people are, are willing to continue. And when I say most, I, I just mean all. It seems like they they're not they're not about to back out now. Cool, man. <laughs> Mike, Mike, what are you doing with that? Um. Okay, thank God. <laughs> no, no commas are executions necessary today. Um, Amelia Laura pulls her gun on Angel Rex. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't even have a gun. She steals Ishtar's gun and points it at Rex. <laughs> As you guys would uh climb up the the plank to the the monarch's upper deck, you would get you would get. Some people would be happier looking, would just allow you to come on, maybe a smile. Others would, would grill you, you would look you down, maybe up even, and judge you harshly. Uh, you're just out of the named ones. By the way, this is manned by dozens of people. There, there are dozens of people, maybe a hundred on this thing. This is a huge operation for a ship. These ones are just the named ones that are talkative and, and of any importance there, there there's a ton of crew that you can make small relationships with and uh, communicate with all right it's not just those people there but um yeah you guys would be shown down below decks and then below another deck you you go you go down two levels to uh this would they send you down all three? Le no, that's where the prison is. That's where they keep their, their little prison is. No, so you'd be down two levels. And you would see, unlike your last place, which did have some beds and hammocks, it seems to be all hammocks here. And it's just lines of hammocks pretty much lining up every corner for people to sleep in. And a lot of them are currently full. There doesn't seem to be a secure place to put your stuff. Your stuff would be when not with you or not on your immediate person, just left by whatever hammock you're claiming. Let me just duct tape my bag to my back. It's gonna give you disadvantage on things. But, <laughs> but yep, that's that's just the setup. That is where you currently are, and the people on board question. are... Very, very important question. Yep. Is Murphus with us? Uh, you did see when the captain was talking to everyone that, um, let's see, what's his fucking name? Uh, that Finn was holding Murphus in his arms. Finn? Yep. Uh, poor Murphus, every owner she switches, or he should switches to, just ends up dying. That's right. So Finn's next, huh? <laughs> yeah, the, the curse of Murph is gonna catch up with him. Curse of Murph. Ishtar, I, I see you moving your piece. What, what's your intent? I'll, uh, before we get on, I'll, I'll look at, at, at Finn. And I'll, I'll approach Finn. So, so I, after the captain finishes telling everyone, you're free, like, you can leave if you want to now. Yeah, I don't require you to come any further with me. They separate. Because I don't imagine you want to interrupt the captain's, like, speech to them about, you're free to go. Please okay. leave. Yeah. So, yeah, after everyone starts to separate, he, he's about to head below deck with, uh, with Murphus in arm. But then he, you, you, um, you sort of motion yourself in front of him. Are you planning to take care of Murphy? Oh, uh, yeah, I was figuring, figuring we all are. It is a nod. You, uh, how long have you and Murphy been together on the boat? Uh, he's been sailing for a few years now. I didn't really take a shining to him until the last one. All I'll say is if you need someone to watch over, I can do it. Well, it takes a village to raise a cat, they say. It's 
isn't that right, Murphy? He, he lifts him up and looks him dead in the face. Murphy looks unamused. His uh, soured expression, hat. Where, where, where's the, where's the little Murphus? Where? There, there he is, tiny Murph. There we go. <laughs> After that, he heads down, and like I said, you guys find your places. You you could leave your stuff there, or you could walk around on the ship with it. That's up to you. I imagine each of you being the distrustful little wretches that you are would all keep your stuff immediately on you and uh yeah the ship would you would feel it its movements are a lot more well there's a lot more weight behind it than the previous one you would feel the sudden shift as the the waves sort of tilt under and the boat begins to move um, there's people at, at the current moment. There's people rowing it out. They they have these long, long oars pushed in the water and are pulling it out from the harbor. Since there's not a lot of wind to catch with inside inside the skeleton or the skull head. But you guys are leaving again. No, in this moment, does anyone wanna? Does anyone want to offer their services as help to the pirate? They are you guys just gonna? People on this boat. Hell, I yeah. I know, but you some of you are significantly stronger than the average man or sailor, and could row better than them. Oh, to the boat, but we're on the boat already. No, it, I'm t there's long. They're using long oars to get the boat out of the skull oh. because there's no wind in the skull. Yeah, but they can do it. They got the. They oh, I'll help. I, I, I'm, all right, thank I'll you, help, Thrak. Because uh, some yeah. of these, not all the pirates are incredibly physically able. They're mostly in shape, but some are older. Being the strongest, I think I'll take a seat. All right. So everyone in the group except for Amelia helps helps out in some way. What? Yeah. Uh, yeah you know. Uh, there's not enough space for everyone to grab an oar. Yeah, yeah. There is. There's plenty. I'll there's. Just make look it how look like I'm helping on this. <laughs> Look how many ore slots there could be. Every cannon slot is an ore slot. I'll just grab it all and half pull it. <laughs> the boat lifts left and crashes and everyone dies because someone's doing half effort on the left. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Wait the a boat. Minute. I see that very interesting. I'm right here. Hmm. What? Hmm. What? Right what? Here. You're not allowed back there. No, 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 no. It's the animal den. You're not allowed back there, though. I'm the sneak. <laughs> they have big. They have big guys standing in front of the door. They they don't want these I fucking piggies. Let me. <laughs> no, they don't let you in. They don't like you yet, especially okay, since uh, they see you're not helping. I I am helping though. No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you specifically you, you specifically said you're half helping. They they can wouldn't half help. She would do her <laughs> job. Which There's is no sleep job. Right There's... in the middle of the floor. There you go, curled up like a cat. All right, the boat pulls out of the whispering glade and takes sail. You can hear the above deck the um, the massive sails unfurl and the boat begins to move a sudden, quick pace. This is faster than you'd expect for a ship of this size. And um, as it whips out, is there anything anyone would like to do during the first day's travel? Uh, I'll draw. And just to let you know, all all these people over here, you would have seen above deck when you guys were boarding. I these know, are... I was looking. I was like, mm, uh, was like uh, 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 There's I'm no just, response. I'm going to spend time learning um, just some basics on what they're doing with the, the sails and the... Uh, you know, just in case we, we have another issue out at sea, I know if I could help what which uh, ropes to grab and Things like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you don't want to stand by the new captain and ask her a bunch of questions like the last. <laughs> Art, I already did that. <laughs> it didn't really get me anywhere. Um, yo, uh, Frederick, I think Aurora hurt her head because she's like can't hear. Can you hear her? You know, ears? I um could be her head, could be her heart. Who knows? I'm gonna be taking a brief nap. He rolls over on the hammock. Uh, 
Ishtar! I think her mother's ears are hurt. Did you go up to her and poke her on the shoulder? Oh, no, I haven't poked her. Okay, let's try that. Jab, 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 Finger jab, jab, jab. She, she rolls, like, with her back facing towards you, she rolls and just, like, looks at you. Hey, can you hear me? Are you okay? She nods her head. Oh. Okay. I thought you were hurt or something. I'm fine, Amelia, just sleepy. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, sleep is no problem. Okay, I'll leave you mm -hmm. alone. Thanks. Is there an area on the ship where it's like a closet? No, like and you you haven't been allowed into any of the private rooms. They, there are people that stand in front of the doorways to the private rooms. Your allowance has been the upper deck, the, the lower deck, the ne second lower deck, and not the basement. The second lower deck? Yeah, not you guys, the basement. Yeah, you guys have not, you guys are not allowed down there, but you're That's allowed fine. here, here, and here. But not in, no not in any of these private rooms. They keep those guarded. They don't trust you. All right. There's uh, a new yeah. area that has like a that like a like a closed off like a janitor there, there, closet. There, there might be. You aren't allowed in any of them. Oh. Behind door, they haven't let you through doors. You you've been going down downstairs and and ladders to each of these areas. Okay. Um. I'll wait till. I guess like everybody leaves from the bedroom area that we're in right now with all the hammocks for for me to trash the camp. Now, what do you mean everyone leave? Um, in the sense of like throughout any time during 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 the day where it's just Aurora in in the bedroom, she would put she would take her her pillow. I'm assuming she would just put her head her face on the pillow and she would rage in like a rage yell cry do you mean alone from the party alone from the you... party correct oh okay that that's way more manageable because like i said there are literally dozens and dozens of people there's probably near a hundred people on this ship which means that we... during the day like th there's upwards of there's 40 no people privacy. sleeping down here there's no privacy then she, yeah, it'll, she'll resort to that. But she'll yeah, but you, you'll have a moment. Oh. And um, I hear something. And I, I, I rage, and it's like a, a rage, like an a, an angry cry. And I, and rage? I will rage. I will, I will rage. I'm at, like, set in stone. I am raging. So you're gonna use a rage. I'm gonna use a rage. Six second cry. It's a pretty good one. Uh, yeah. Thanks, man. Six seconds scream into a pillow. Yeah. That's why I was kind of thinking of like a, a janitor's closet because my intent would have been. Oh, I, I know. I, I know you want to oh, you want to yeah. be alone. You want private. That is not a luxury afforded to, I know. to you at so the moment. So we'll resort to that. She she would do that. All right. That is gonna... a, a moment you would have at some point thrak you you're above deck you're you're learning how to do things uh the person most keen on helping you would be this woman right here she she would see that you're kind of like you know you're doing that sort of awkward shuffle where you're in the area sort of watching things trying to learn not directly asking anyone for immediate help so mm -hmm. she would take that moment to sort of address you uh, and be like i, I want to start at the bottom uh, oh, the bottom I'm, of the ship. You you want to head? They, no, they I, don't let you down there. But where do you? No, mean? no, 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 no. I, I want to start. I want to earn my keep here. So what could I do? Hmm. What could you do? It, it, you know? Do you? Would you like to? So these people would be around the ship, and as you're watching, you would notice that each of them has sort of a leadership role. Um. Would which one would you like to approach? You can approach any one of them. Well, she, you already said she. It, she would have been above deck, right? Because uh, you're getting the idea. You would get the idea. She is the first mate. 
Yeah, if she comes to me first, I'm not, you know, I wouldn't, but she got I, I'm just saying, if you want to start from the bottom, there's some other people who who might be more, more your level. I mean, of course, Ju Jungo is, 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 I've seen goblins before. Uh, I've both, also... The bottom is both of these guys, you know, like they, they would be handling more of the dread Which work. one would I see first? They would both be on the level oh, where you guys God. are sleeping. I'll head over to uh, Jungo. All right. Jungo uh, would be... Jungo, as you've witnessed around, seems to be the gunnery master. Cannon maintenance is his main thing. And he is very uh, particular. You, you've, you've seen him uh, ordering people to shine the cannons at nauseum. He, if there's a, a single mark of, of soot around the barrel... He, it angers him to some degree. He loves to these earn guns. My feet. What's your name, sir? Oh. Django. Who the hell are you? A fine looking gentleman. My name's Thrak. Uh, new to the ship here. Just trying to do my part. Pardon me. <laughs> After a moment, you, you get that he didn't spit to insult you, he just right. spat. <laughs> Right. Oh my god. Uh, anything that you need help with, sure. Here. He, he holds up his hands for a moment and motions for for your. You think maybe your hands are for you to get closer. I get closer. Come on, he motions again. I get even closer. He, he rubs his uh, he rubs his brow and smacks one of your hands, then grabs it. Oh, uh, okay. He he individually grips each finger. Yeah. Mm. Callous and strong. Uh, kind of media, media hands. You clean? Do I clean? I clean the best that anybody of you've ever seen cleans. I'll be the best damn cleaner you've ever seen, ever. If that's what you want. He, he looks at you confused for a moment, <laughs> but you know. I have other talents. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Come with me. All right. He uh, he motions you, and you you follow him. He climbs up the ladder to this the first level, not not the second one. Right. And uh, he motions a person out of a doorway. So you're being let in a doorway now. The very first he would see. Uh -huh. And he pulls you into what looks like. An armory of sorts. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and he points at several barrels in the corner. Right. I go up to him. Uh, Move two of those downstairs. Don't drop them. Easily done. Uh, I pick up two at a time. <sighs> he watches you shock. Uh, but he follows you like a filthy hawk. Uh, you can hear a... Uh, the each step behind you. Uh, it seems he has a pegged leg. You can hear the tink, tink, as he wobbles behind you. But uh, you play. You bring the barrels down, and with ease, you're, you're strong enough to do so. You have a you have a decent strength, right? And yeah. It's Twelve. Uh, I double my carry and lift uh, mount as an orc. So. Yes, and you double your stuff as an orc. So you, you place the barrels in the appropriate area. Right. He, he he gives you a nod of approval. Anything else? <laughs> of course. He, he goes to the, he goes to the corner and uh, pulls out another barrel, <laughs> and then uh, motions you over. Yeah, I thought I will follow. Uh, looking into the barrel, it seems to be a sort of murky, bubbled water, soapy maybe. All right. <laughs> What's this? Every cannon on the level must be clean. Right. Uh, <laughs> can I start with this one over here? Huh? Which one? Uh, which one are we at? This. Oh, this, this one? one? Yes. Right. So I ignore the barrel, uh, the barrel of, of water and soap, and I 
cast prestidigitation on the, the cannon over and over. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you're motioning your hands in a circle as the, my, the magic is spiraling up the backside of it, slowly going towards the front, and the goblin just watches dumbfounded. Yeah. You're better than I'm, mage. <laughs> what the hell is Ulrich doing? If he's not using this kind of help... Want me to do the whole level? I could do that, sir. <laughs> All of them? All of them. Wow. <laughs> I think you are gonna be my new gunnery sergeant. Time me. You ready? Uh, I cast haste on myself. I'll give you to the end of... <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you it to the end of the day. And he, he goes upstairs, right? You cast haste. You start doing it. <laughs> double, double actions. You're going down the line, cleaning them quick. Uh, like five minutes later, you know, you, you get your haste. Oh, it comes down. You, 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 you finish it. Yeah, you do it again. So about five I'll minutes later, he comes down. He goes, uh, I forgot. So, huh? And every, every cannon is cleaned now. Utterly cleaned by prestidigitation. All and done, he, sir. And he's rubbing the back of his head like, Ugh. Can you make bombs? Absolutely, sir. Right. What the <laughs> hell are you? He's, he seems confused. He doesn't know how to react to you. You're, you're, you're an anomaly in his world. A go-getter pirate with magical abilities. <laughs> uh, I will... Does he want me to make mechanical bombs, or does he want me to make <laughs> glyph of warding bombs? He hasn't asked. He just asked, "Could you make bombs?" I can make bombs. In fact, I can All make right, one of the most powerful ones you've ever seen. No, follow me then. Okay. He brings you back to the gunnery. Uh, actually, would this be the? Would he, yes, yes. This this is his room. All right, this is the gunnery sergeant's room in here, his tinker shop. But that is where he keeps his stuff. So I guess he would bring you into his room. And uh, he would he would motion to the table where you'd see various sort of uh, metal, not, not vials, but containers and black powder fuses potentially. He he's talking he's talking real engineered bombs. All right. Would you I like to talk. try and make them? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you have proficiency in tinkerers kit, right? Anything anything for my. Anything for my first mate here. Yeah, so it's, it's just going to be... You're, he's not the first mate. Uh, but well, it's, it's just going to be... Yeah. It's going to be intellect. It, it's just okay. because you're not proficient. Okay. It's just an intellect uh, check here? Yep. Alright, give it a shot. Because right, it would, it would normally be tinkerers, but you're not, you don't have that. 11? Um, yeah. huh. Well, this is my only. This is my first try, sir. I can get better. Uh, he, he he picks it up and then sort of molds it about in his hand. Then lifts it to his ear and shakes. <laughs> it's shit. I take it and I throw it in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> the trash. There's an explosion in the trash, <laughs> but it, it doesn't go everywhere. It doesn't blow it to bits. I'm uh, sorry, sir. I'll let you uh, down. <laughs> you know what? It's he. You you gauged he wanted to be mad at you, but you keep disarming him before he can get mad. You you disarm him by apologizing. <laughs> I'll do better. I'll help you with the first one, and then you make nine more before sundown. Done. And make sure they don't go off when you throw them. You need to light the fuse. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yes, of course. <sighs> All right. He's going to help you with this one, so you have advantage. Ugh. Oh 12. my god. 12. It's slightly... It's, you know, there, it is a functional bomb. Uh, maybe uh, you know more of a cleaner uh, bomb. I can do it, sir. Night uh, more. Uh, Easily enough. Right. You get them to me by the end of the day, and we'll decide if you're ready to move up to that. He he walks out, leaving you in his uh 
his nice little study. You're, there's a bed in there. It's lovely. It has a, an anvil. There's two cannons set up in here. Uh, there's writing on the table. Do you do you read Goblin? Uh, I can comprehend languages. Oh, yeah. uh, if you wanted to, right? But just eh. looking at it, it's incomprehensible at first. At the moment, I don't have any reason to do that, so I'll yeah, work yeah. on the bombs. Okay, you're gonna keep working on the bombs now. I believe in you. Is there anything uh, anyone else would have done? You guys would have seen Thrak going around cleaning the cannons and, uh, and interacting with the portly little goblin. Uh, Aurora, you would have waited for an alone moment, probably when Thrak exactly. got moved out of the room and did the scream. Ishtar, what, what would you have done? I'll be at the top, just sitting down, looking at the, the water waves go by, leaning on the side. Yeah, you would you would notice there is some of other people doing that, mostly the prior crew, and you would get the idea that the prior crew, the Stormfist crew, isn't being allowed to conduct normal crew activities. Yeah, not they seem they seem all to be yeah, not their ship, right? And they, they they seem to be, and you're you with your high perception, right? You have like a sixteen, you have an an eighteen. Uh, an eighteen. You would notice that. They're being watched. Despite the passage and the trade, this is a, some amount a, a pirate ship. They are Navy members. There, th There is an amount that, you know, if you guys fuck around, they will arrest. Not arrest, but they'll throw you into their stocks and take your shit, right? You, like, this is very much a semi-hostile situation. Yeah, my character wouldn't be doing this anything. This isn't the Uber I asked. <laughs> you're, you're free to get off and wait for the next one in the water. What do you mean three to five business days? What? <laughs> you you might find a snake eye in that time. I jump off. Ah! Ah! Alright. Uh, you know what, Ishtar? You're the perfect person. Oh, no. You're the perfect person and a known friend of, of our good chum, Aurora. While you're oh. sitting there, the light behind you would become shadowed. Something massive has moved behind you. <laughs> Where's the sun? Oh, no, don't. Uh, hey, hi, oh, hi. <laughs> it, 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 our good friend Rex, who, uh, Rex Mako. <laughs> I turn around. Um, greetings. Hey, I... God, this is awkward. First, not you. I'm making it awkward. Sorry. Uh, I just was hoping I could get some help from someone who was with Aurora. And the people who you were with told me that it was you, um, the little girl, and the orc. Oh, and that other guy, the, the one who follows your mirror. Right, so... <laughs> I was, um... Yeah. I was hoping, like, you could tell me... Is there a way I could pay her back? I kind of feel bad. Like, I, 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 I feel like I made things complicated when they didn't need to be. Um... There's a lot of context so it's not put in here. Right, right. Hi, I'm I'm Rex Mako. Um I I was I was with Maeve like a few I years ago. A years ago. Uh we were in the same crew and he, he motions to the big tattoo on his chest of the, the blackened sun with the uh, the jagged lines around it. Mm. Right. And our ship went down in a terrible battle against the Navy. Uh, I was presumed dead, I guess, and I thought she was dead. But heck, turns out she uh, she wasn't. And I couldn't find her. I So I went back to the place where we'd always meet, the pirate place. Yeah, so anyways, you know, you guys arrive today and we meet up. And I, I thought, like, man, this is the greatest thing ever, right? 
I, but turns out she's, you know, with someone else now. And I didn't even like stop to think about that when I, you know, met her. And well, I'm pretty sure a doesn't like me. She was like kind of being possessive at the the dinner and I like I understood, right? Like I mean like I'm coming back out of nowhere. And I, you know, I, I just sort of went into it thinking that we would be good. He, he looks at you to sort of get like if he's gone too far in his explanation. Nicole will give him no budge on any facial expression. He's just nodding his head <laughs> and then waiting for more. Uh, so yeah, I was kind of hoping. Well, you know, oh, man, I really shouldn't have even come on this. I just missed my friend. Is there anything that you know she likes that I could possibly do to ease things over? The travels that I've been with this... The travels I've been with Aurora. And there's a lot of things that had happened. There's always yeah. drama and issues and problems people face. Because, well, quite recent. So her clinging on to someone else isn't the unknown factor here. My question to you is what do you perceive? What is your end goal? And not including a roar in the situation between you and Maeve. Uh, well, I mean, realistically, I I guess I wanted to be back together. I, we never, like, we never separated. We just thought we were dead. Yes, but I don't know if that's what Maeve wants. And she seems happy or was I don't know what I know and what I would tell you is to talk communication is the best key to the situation you, you think I should go down there and talk to her? Not to Aurora. Oh, good, because she, she was like... I peeked down there and she was screaming. Screaming? Face down. Ah! You know? Huh. Not surprised. But I would speak to Maeve. Uh, this information for everyone will put a wrench in a plan, but at the end of the day, it's what she wants. I just feel, I don't know, kind of bad, right? <laughs> Had I not, things could have been working out great with her. Like, it's my presence bad. I could like swim back to the hideout. We've only been maybe together on the ship for maybe two weeks. Maybe even less than that. So keep that in mind. Do you... So, but like... Are you trying to tell me... Because I noticed we avoided my question that there's nothing I can do to appease her in any way? When I couldn't state your appearance near her may just lead her to be angrier. She... Emotions flow through this one quite easily. Oh, my appearance upsets her? Your, not your appearance of your connection with me. Oh. In which you uh, have no control over, and it's not your fault in any ways. Man, this is real awkward. 
awkward, yes, but also based off of what you told me, you would have a stronger bond than Maeve. <laughs> well, well, I, 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 I'm not gonna say that. I, I mean, maybe they're, you know, close. <laughs> a lot can happen in two weeks. How long you know, have she, you known Maeve? A few years, but, <laughs> you know, she thought I was dead. She might have got over me entirely in that time. There's only one way to find that out. I, uh, uh, you, you've never seen a shark's expression turns into such a cringed one. All his teeth showing, I mean, his, 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 his nose somehow wrinkled despite being a shark. His lip pulled up a bit to reveal his gums like only a shark can do. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I mean, you're right. I should talk to her, but what if me doing that is the reason things with her and Aurora don't work out? Doesn't that feel, I don't know, even more wrong? But life is it's never fair. But at the end of the day, if it's a rekindle ship of the old flame versus two other new flames it's left over to, well, Maeve. I can speak with a roar if you feel like it. Let's see your opinion on this. But knowing her well enough, nothing really will come out of it. I, that's a pretty dreary outlook. Ah, uh, oh God. I'll um. I'll 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 wait until they talk at least. I, before I say anything. Uh, there's another option. <laughs> but, um, yeah, if you can think of anything to help mull over this situation, that would be great. It's a tough pickle you put on yourself in. <laughs> yeah, part of me wishes I just had died at the bottom of the ocean. Damn gills. Well, for what has been worth so far, you're here on the ship, you're willing to put in the time, the order. You seem like a great guy to me. Thanks. Hmm. I appreciate that. No you, um... You're... How do I say this without coming off insensitive? Uh, you're drow. Obviously, I mean, yes, you, you are drow. What are you doing with the Primera Navy? We're on a mission that will... No, I wow. think about it's even weirder to say. We're basically on a mission that might change the world. Oh! Wow! That's... I mean... Yeah, changing the world's big stuff. We're also a guild of Primera. I haven't heard of that. Is it like a... Like a big thing? We're... Big enough. I'd say that. Yeah. I just, uh, huh. The only time I've ever met other trials, they've always been together. Hmm. They usually are. Uh... Well, anyways, thanks for, uh, hearing me out. I hope it wasn't too awkward. Not that bad. I've heard worse. Well, good luck on. Well, love triangle. Ugh, don't call it that. <laughs> he sort of walks away holding his face. Ugh. He is a very anguished man at the moment. Uh, dear sweet Amelia. Mm -hmm. What are you up to? 
Thrak, uh, if you missed it, I don't know if you're AFK. Thrak yep. met with the gunnery sergeant, um, Jungo, and cleaned the cannons. And it's now he was let inside of Jungo's uh, first the armory and now Jungo's workshop. He got into special rooms because he was working with him. Yeah. And um, he's making bombs. Okay. Yep. And uh, and then uh, Ishtar is talking to uh, Rex about yep. how he should not uh, talk to Aurora, but rather just talk to Maeve because it really has nothing to do with Aurora. She just is a victim. And Aurora is in her room crying in a pillow, but yelling really loudly. Uh, Emilio is screaming just, into you know, a pillow walk around bored because Aurora doesn't want to talk to her or wants her anymore and um you know just like you know fine look for things to do <laughs> look at that so easy I can't believe Aurora doesn't want I anything know, to do with Amelia anymore doesn't want Amelia anymore <laughs> I thought she'll just go look around but you know find, find amusing things to do hey you guys got the ball wow want to play like kickback what do you? What do you say? What did you say? A he, dog? No ball, ball, ball. Spherical thing, you bounce. Uh, oh yeah, we uh, we like to play a bit of an improv uh, jingo down here. Oh uh, yeah, everyone plays jingo. I was hoping we did. Kind of the main sport of the continent, you know the. What uh, happens national... if it goes off the boat though? Like, what do you do? I mean. Well, that's why we play here in the middle deck. You know. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's but if it hits a sleeping person, that's a foul. Okay, well, can I play? Yeah, of course you can. Uh, yeah, that yeah. sounds cool. Oh, All yeah. right, that's breezy. Super solid, radical. You begin to play Jingo, and you are exceedingly good at it compared to most people. I don't need to make you roll. You have a very high dexterity modifier. It is pretty amazing. So while you're doing that, you hear um, from behind you, someone go, Attention! And everyone stops playing immediately. <laughs> and turning around, you see uh, 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 the tabaxi. <laughs> Uh, a glass rapier of milk at his hip. Oh, no. A glass of milk in hand, of course. Rapier at his hip, gun on his back, gun at his hip to his other hip. <clears throat> Girl, would you come with me? He's talking to me? <laughs> yes. Oh, I. Okay. Hi. Hello. Hello. What is your name? I'm Amelia. My name is Crow. Hello. He leads you above deck and uh, pushes through a set of doorways and takes you into this back room. And this is a very fancy looking room. So fancy. This, is, this is a large dining room. Ooh. There's a table across the middle. It's wide. A bunch of people could sit here. You you get the strange feeling you shouldn't be here. But oh. Crow walked you in, right? So yeah, you, yeah. it has to be trustworthy. I'm not going to kill you back here. <laughs> <laughs> he might. <laughs> anyway, he goes, I watched how you moved. You're nimbler than the rest. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I am... Nimble, nimble. Sure. <laughs> I am the supreme <laughs> duelist upon this ship. The boarding expert. <laughs> and I, for lack of a better terms, have found myself withering with the competition here. You... I see the blades on your hip. I see the way you move, and I can tell we are kindred spirits. Oh, you mean Anais's blade here? Mm. Or do you mean my, that... my soul, Ari, and uh, ears? Which ones are we talking about? Is that the name of your blade? Uh, Anai. No, Anais is a friend of mine who's uh, from... <laughs> he so... jumps up onto the table. <laughs> then ready your blade. <laughs> you are my new sparring partner. But I normally, okay. I'll go up on top of it. But I don't. I don't draw an ice's blade. <laughs> I just gotta get into a defensive stance. What are you doing? I said, ready your blade. I am my blade. <laughs> oh! He, he blinks for a moment, and then slowly brings the milk to his lips and. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that seems fine with him, and that's not something he's unaware of. And um. He 
he tries to exchange blows with you. And at first, you can tell he's going easy on you. He, he It is a, a very much a set of test hits to see how you react. But his weapon is real. He's not using a fake one. And he's not he's he doesn't have a scabbard that goes all the way up it. It just hangs off a loop on his hip. So he is it is a deadly weapon. How how do you how do you block? Do you reveal your powers immediately? Do you use your gauntlet or your that. abrasers? I, I, I push the rapier aside with deflective open palms. Open palm, not your bracers. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if, if I get in a pinch, then I will have to do that. He's going easy right now. I don't have to. Yeah, go. he's he's sort of testing you to see how good you are. I might <laughs> I might pull the rug telekinetically under his foot to make him lose footing at a time. My God, you <laughs> monster! <laughs> uh, but you do notice that because of how adept you are at combat, he is gradually picking up speed. He is testing you further and further to the point where Oh careful you're about I'm to going hurt to... me. <laughs> I'm gonna need an ac acrobatics check. Oh yes, I will I better not fail this. Now uh we did agree that I got inspiration from Frack. No, you so have disadvantage from mentioning I, I, shrimp. Inspiration from <laughs> Disadvantage from mentoring shrimp, that's what you have. Alright, so that's seven that's a seventeen. Plus what about eight, the second dice? 25. 25. <laughs> this isn't a what? death to fire roll. What about the second dice? Why do, I, why do I need a shrimp dice on this? Because I've given you... Alright, uh, as he does a, a heavy swing, you, you leap up and grab onto one of the chandeliers above, and you swing over his head, landing on the other side of the table. Um... And as he comes back around, you, you're you able to lift your foot and stomp down on the, the rapier's tip, putting it to the ground. Oh. Ooh, careful. <laughs> you are as skilled as I had hoped. He, as you're doing that, though, you watch he, his other hand very quickly reaches to his hip, pulls out his gun, and shoots point-blank range. Just like missiles! Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> great. All right, go ahead and roll the, the damage reduction. I mean, he might miss too, by the way, but sure, you're just gonna make it hit. What the heck did I roll? Yeah. I don't ever do deflect. What, that's a D10, right? I don't have a D10 immediately available. Uh, here, grab this. My God, you don't deflect missiles. I, you don't that's ever make me have to take level. range attacks. Ugh. You catch the bullet. Seven plus my level. So uh, 18, or uh, no, no, 16 plus my dex, four. So it's 20 damage I can just block. You do you deflect or do you catch? What do you uh, want to do? I mean, I'm I'm going to have to uh, slow it down and catch. I'm not going to actually throw it. All right. Though. Okay. So uh, with that, you you at the last moment you see that and you you harness all of your uh, psionic force, telekinetic force to slow the bullet enough, but it's still quick. But you still grab it and pull it back in your hand. Uh, a bit of smoke coming out of your grip. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's hot, you hot, 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 hot. Ooh. I dropped the bullet. That wasn't very mm. nice. That could have hurt me really badly. It could have. It was another risk I took. But there's one thing lacking in all of this sparring. Huh? Your offense is piss poor. You haven't done anything back. Okay, that's it. <laughs> I can <laughs> definitely exchange blows. Right. Was, you, I you, yeah. was I supposed to hurt you? Was I supposed to hurt you? That's what sparring is, I'm it's get, training! As, as he's saying that, I'm already in his face and I'm trying to deliver a strike right into his abdomen. Alright, just, you're just gonna roll, roll me an attack and it's gonna be contested by his attack. It's gonna be a series of blows. Okay. So it's your proficiency in your decks. Well, it's a natural 16 plus 7 as a 23. Um... Right in his face, uh, as he as he says, no, of course. Stomach. Knock the wind out. I don't want uh, he face. says, of, <laughs> like he says, of course. And his eyes are closed for a second, but as he opens them, he, it's just your face, but like silhouetted in shadow. Your eyes being the only thing gleaming through uh, a piercing stare. A very very scary for Amelia. And just <laughs> a series of blows that uh, knock him back to the other side of the table. He can make a con <laughs> save in slow. He just did a strike 
Are you stunning striking I'm him? I'm stunning striking him to show the difference. Uh, okay. uh, that's only going to be a 13, he's so I think done. he fails. <laughs> He's laying there on the ground. He's not unconscious. He it just the, the blows caught him off guard and knocked him back. While he's like dazzled, I'm going to go up to him and pick him up and then put him into a chair, like grappling him and moving uh, him there. Ugh. You don't look. You don't look so good. Wow. There you are, Pat. He he like uh, he comes to and his eyes widen. Uh, nose dripping down one nostril and off his chin, or blood dripping down one nostril his and off nose, his chin. He drips. He, he has nose. <laughs> Yeah, he, he revealed he's actually a changeling. Oh, you know, no. Gooey form is going. Wow. Well, that was <laughs> impressive. Could we move to the next part? Next. He claps his hands, and you watch as his shadow forms into three versions of himself. Wait, what? Oh. Mm hmm. And he, uh, all four leap up on the table now. Oh, I should change it to dual music, and then I just think it'd be so long. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We're we're not gonna go into it much more than this. Oh, okay. Just roll me your attack contested against his, yeah, and we'll see how you do. My attack against. Okay, you're doing this to me again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a twenty-two. That is exceedingly well. It's um, plus eight. It's twenty-three. This is oddly fun there's it's a real weapon he could hurt you and you have hurt him but neither of you seem affected by it it is pain it's real but there doesn't feel like there's that risk of dying you're just getting to extend the use of your powers you're getting to practice with someone who's nimble reminds you of of, uh, of Anais or, or Garami any, you know, any, anything like that. If at uh, any moment series of blows. the upper hand, I want to hold on by using telekinetically and I use his right here to stop it, the strike. If it ever has to happen. <laughs> Though he outnumbers you four to one, you are quick. You are fast and adept. Your defense is great. There are points where you would have to use your telekinesis to minorly alter the path of some of the swing of the shadows not a noticeable thing you 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 are capable of hiding it and doing that that's just your natural ac increase you know but before the end of it with a series of kicks uh swing low into a a, a jump up push off of one landing on the other side of the table and uh maybe even pulling the rug just for the fun of it you knock down all four of them onto the ground and you watch as the other four or the other three seep back into his shadow he as he hits seven the ground shadows no 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 the other three oh, the okay, other three okay, 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 okay. the other three uh hit the ground and seep back into his shadow as he rubs his head uh it seems getting him off the table was also a condition to win this little game <laughs> you are truly something else You okay? If I ever. didn't hurt you too much, did I? Please hurt me. It's minor scratches. And he puts his uh, finger to his nose and blows out a bunch of blood. <laughs> but your milk, your milk spilled. No, that's the one thing that didn't spill. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> is milk. I can't cry over spilled milk, you know. He turns around and, uh, and uh, turns his hips slightly, revealing that the edge of his tail is wrapped around the milk. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's he wouldn't give that up. That's his milk. If you ever uh, would like to spar again, keep our wits sharp and our blades sharper, and perhaps you could show me how you use those other blades. He motions to the the circles on your hips. Ah yes, the useful. Even when I'm trying at my best, you held back on me. You know who's also Perhaps really you will good have to be it? my rival. There's a, there's a hmm? really strong woman in our group named Aurora. She's also really strong in a fight. Not as fast as me, but she is very strong. Uh, there's a lot of muscle around. Oh, okay. And I suppose it's good to fight muscle, to be ready to fight muscle. But it's not fun fighting muscle. It's kind of fun to be fighting someone that's quick, just like you. 
I vow to get quicker. Oh. Well, that was, all right. Well, now when you when you recuperate and catch your breath, you can go again. I I will let the guard know that you are free to come back in this room as long as it is to challenge me. Oh. Okay. Now, and if you don't mind, uh, he turns around and tries to stand tall and it waits for you to start walking out. But with your high perception, the moment like you're about <laughs> to leave, you glance back and he, he has one hand on his back and he's like trying to crack it. Oh, yeah, he's, oh. he's trying to feign the injury. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's definitely hurt. You know, he's like, oh. <sighs> she was, she was smiling and went, okay, bye. Hey. She'll skip out. <laughs> Perfectly fine. You, you rolled very well on both checks and exceeded like way better than him, who has a similar plus to you. Uh, just low, lower rolls. The gods didn't win it for him. That's true. But, you know, it's almost like you had a god back in you. So... So now I'm the last of me. I'm now in the turbo. <laughs> 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 That's her belief, and now she can do anything. Yeah. All right. So that's what each of you are doing on your free time at some point. Uh, the first day would sort of lull to a, an ending point if, if there's anyone who maybe wanted conversations with people or, or not. And Thrak, I'll need a, I'll need one last check from you to see how those nine bombs came out. Rem remember, you have inspiration. Yeah, I'll <laughs> use it. Are you sure you want to? Yeah. Hey! What hey! you do? Okay. I use my inspiration. All right, Thrak, you you push open the door with the the bundle of bombs. You pray they don't explode on you because it would definitely kill you. Oh, oh. To have to have nine bombs go off at this range. And as you're doing that, Amelia, I, I think, would catch you coming out of the room with them. What's that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, be careful. These are uh, highly explosive devices uh, for uh, Mr. Jungo. Oh. Who? A shipment of explosives. Uh, you are I not created them. those? Uh, yeah, as long as you're very careful. Oh, I can do it very easily. Yeah, okay. they're like two pounds each. They're very light. Look, you know, I can, can juggle them. <laughs> okay. Uh, you you bring them up a deck, and you you would see Jungo uh, cleaning the can or having people clean the cannons you didn't deal with the above deck ones, and um, you would bring it over to him. He would uh, look it over, um, and then he'd bring his fingers to it, his index and thumb, and he'd snap them, and it would cause a spark, and he'd light the fuse on one, and then hurl it out the open window that the cannon's out of, and peek at it as it explodes in the water. <laughs> Are you satisfied with my craftsmanship, <sighs> sir? Well, you know, you're good. You're good stuff. All right. I'll try harder next time, sir. Try harder. <laughs> uh, yeah. You guys are strange. Who's that? He points to Amelia. <laughs> oh, that's uh, this is uh, this is Amelia. A uh, very deft, deft, uh, agile. Uh, probably not as great as cleaning as I am, but very fast. I am very fast. I was just, uh, you know, playing with a crow up in his special room. Uh, he seemed like uh, he, didn't, he, he got hurt a little bit, though. Uh, did he kill crow? No, no, no. He just was uh, like, his uh, back looked like he was hurt. Uh, okay. She didn't help you with the bombs, did she? Absolutely not, sir. I did it all on my own. I learned from the best, sir. Oh. Okay. Just making sure. I know, you know, you know, I can't... If you can't do it yourself, I can't trust you with it. I don't know Absolutely. what these are, so... Yeah. Watch, let me yeah. shake one really violently. <laughs> Uh, 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 Jungo nods as if like that's fine. Go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, because you rolled so high, they are prepared properly. They won't go off by being shook. They they do need the fuse as he ordered you to make them. Uh, my confidence is not as high. <laughs> I mean, sure we might catch a little shrapnel, but she'd lose her hands. I wasn't at too much risk. Right. Anyways, 
You trying to get her work? Uh, are you interested in working, Amelia? Work? No, I like playing. Okay, she's more of a player. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know. Do I'm disgusted. Like Ain't hey, time to play. Every one of these cannons has to be prepped to fire unless we sink. Sink? Why are we going to sink? Because if we can't fire them, then they fire at us and take us out. <gasps> oh no, I didn't know this was the case. What? <laughs> do we, do we have to, do, how, do we, how do we stop them from firing at us? Where are they? Oh no! Well, you could join the boarding crew. You said you're fast, right? I, uh, y yes, I can walk on rope, I can do jumps. Well, the boarding crew, they, they're the ones who swing over and and handle the other ship. Who's in charge of boarding? Crow. Oh, then, then I'm part of the boarding crow. This. Good job. Uh, he, Thrak, he grabs your wrist and pulls you so you have to lean over so he can whisper uh, in your ear. Uh, uh, the boarding crew are all psychopaths. Very good, sir. <laughs> he, he seems, he, you know, it's something about the boarding crew and him don't seem to add up. Maybe it's, it's like, maybe it's like one of their jobs makes the other one way harder because they can't <laughs> fire the cannons. Sir, with your permission, I would like to work on a, a greater advantage uh, in our naval combat, sir. What, what, what kind? Uh, I have arcane abilities that we might be able to imbue into cannonballs. Uh, 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 no, uh, no, uh, no, no, no! Sir, no. If sir. you want to talk magic, talk to Ulrich. Okay. Very good, sir. I don't like magic on my cannons. Unless it's on the ammo. Sir, I have to apologize. I used magic to clean your cannons. But is it on the cannon, or did it destroy the dust on the cannon. Uh, that is to be determined, uh, sir, but I believe it destroys dust, sir. No harm done to the cannon. We can work around that. I mean, as long as it's getting them clean that quick. Okay, looks like you're busy. I'm going to go. Yeah. Okay, sir, I, I'll talk to Arlick. May I, am I dismissed, sir? Uh, what? <laughs> yes? Do you need my services any further? Okay, No. Thank you. Uh, uh, you're not a pirate at all, are you? <laughs> it was a pleasure. What the hell is up with these people? <laughs> <laughs> Amelia's just skipping across the deck. All right. Um, evening comes. Ishtar, is there anyone you speak to, Ishtar? Any anyone in particular you have a word with? Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay. Where do you where do you head? I head down bottom deck. Okay, that's lovely. You uh, you head down there. You can see lots of large sleeping men. Uh, Does she just groan? And, yes, she groaned. <laughs> Does she just and assume would, he's coming to see her? You oh. would see off in the distance um, your good friend, your your best friend, maybe potential love interest, even. <gasps> what? Uh, Aurora Gray, Grayborn. <laughs> What? Aurora Hildegard Greyborn, uh, laying in her homo. bed, face okay. down. Well, you know, since I can't have Maeve, well, if I can't have you... And there would never be an NPC that would come up in Ishtar's backstory that would possibly do the same exact situation. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate it here sometimes. <laughs> I don't want nobody, baby, if I can't have you. I make my way over to the uh, raging into a, a pillow person. You head over towards the pillow person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yep. I'm like just ending like my scream. Like if you were coming from down the hall, you would hear the muffled screaming. And then when You've you been get screaming just, like, for um, ha over half an hour. I rage. Yes. Rage only lasts six seconds. Second. I rage again. <laughs> That would be another six seconds. No, oh, that's always. Exactly yeah, do it again. I do it again. Now I you're at eighteen stuff. seconds. <laughs> How many rages do you use? I only have four rages. Just keep biting your lip. Okay. At the I end know, right? of your. Just keep biting my lip. 
So you use four rages to scream. You're just letting out all your anger into this pillow. I will. I'll use two. I'll. I'll please. Does I'll she lose two. control? Please make a roll, Aurora. Remember, remember, Ishtar said high. not to waste to do it frivolously, and here you are. This is a high intense. This is a, a high. Uh, this high is a high. This is life or death for her. Oh, she gets my. made for she... D twenty, right? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Roll me a D twenty. It is a. Uh... Maybe it's relieving in some way to scream like this. It doesn't feel like it accomplishes anything, but it maybe feels nice. Just let it out. Uh, you do get greeted with a shut up from uh, across the hall as one of the other pirates is trying to sleep during the day. <laughs> I, I stop. <laughs> but eventually... I'll stop. You would hear uh, the armor and ting, 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 uh, of someone coming up to your bed. They were slower than what I just did. They're more of like a ting, ting, you know, a s- slow step. I forget he uses a stud look. I like to think he has gauntlets and boots. I don't know why. <laughs> Other leather, metal hands, metal feet. I like to think the studs are more of like a, a nearly a half plate, nearly, but it's not. Nope. <laughs> Ishtar is a stud. Yo! Oh, wow! God. Wait, the, the relationship, wait, no one saw it coming. Full grown Amelia oh, and Ishtar. No, 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 it's him and Aurora. Look right here, proof. Oh my god. Anyways, Ishtar. It's she's Ishtar. A, oh. Ishtar, she's laying face down in the pillow. She's awake, you can tell. You're very s- much so. You can you've seen them all sleeping too many times since you trance. Oh, he did sleep once. I oh. just stand there. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. your, your already dark vision gets slightly darker. You can feel a presence over you, not as big as as a, a lot of people, but still a presence. <laughs> Gloomy. There's almost a sour taste in the air. Uh, just oh, this. No. <laughs> I feel you, baby. Sorrow, <laughs> sweet, um, gone. My, my, the pillow that's over her face would begin to lower as you only see, like, her eyes. And her eyes are completely red. The veins above, above her brows and, I guess, like, from from the crow's from the crow's feet all the way underneath there is bags of just puffy eyes and you see the veins are just like almost like about to like break out of her skin of like the combination of anger that's around the area of her eyes but in like but the eyes herself are just sadness bloodshot sadness Bloodshot eyes, correct. And she just lowers it up to where her eye level is, and she just looks at you. What'd you do this time? What do you think I did? Drugs. I had a full conversation with the shark this evening. Great. I'm sure you think he's great too. This is jealousy. Nice to have something though, isn't it? Feel something. Want something. But you forget that it can be instantly destroyed. And it can wilter away and die. My jealousy overtook a simple reconnection with friends. 
between Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Shut the fuck up. Disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> And guess what? what? You... I don't have her. Don't care about him. They can have each other. Doesn't matter. Like she said, I was never. We were never it, anyways. So she told you. A hundred percent. She's right now. I don't know where she is. Just thinking. Thinking about how badly I destroyed the relationship that she had with this man. Thinking about erasing the memories that we've had together. I'll ask again. What did you do? What did you do that would erase some memories of another? He said possessive. You said jealousy. Jealousy. Truly. Did you get in a fight with him in front of her? Did no, you didn't proclaim love upon her? Did you cast him away? Did you insult him? I didn't insult him. I'm only going off of inference here, knowing you and knowing the words have been said. What it sounds like is you didn't know, or you knew that they were a thing, and then put your foot down. I know you were I didn't enough, even know you... they were a thing. And she... She sits up. I didn't even know they were a thing, Ishtar. And it wasn't even until later that I had to figure it out. In fact, it's not that I had to figure it out. I had to... Yeah, I had to figure it out. It's not like she was going to tell me this information, just openly. I had to fish it out of her. No pun intended. Like, 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 she was hiding this. And I, and I don't understand why. It's stupid. It's honestly very stupid. And Look yes, I chat. guess. Huh? Box uh, of sub roll deception. Am I rolling? <laughs> no, you don't have to roll deception, but <laughs> that, that very much wasn't the case in the conversation. The, they introduced each other as this is like my ex. I thought he was dead. <laughs> I thought it was they were friends and I thought they were dead. <laughs> no, no, she was. And then, she it, was, and then it was, oh, we were actually together. And she was pretty open about this is who I was with before. I just thought they died. Oh, I redact. They were together. So you and knew they were and still acted this I way. I didn't know until she's until he showed up. She's never revealed anything about this person until they showed up. And yes, I I ruined the relationship that she has with him. Because now it's awkward between them, it's awkward between her and I, it's awkward between this creature and her veins begin to like pulsate more. And I don't know what to do, Ishtar. I really don't know what to do. And it's very, very frustrating that you know what? There's something that in this world that I felt close enough that it could be mine and it really wasn't mine. So guess what? All I do is mess up, Ishtar. That's all I do. Nicole raises a single do, finger I can't do one thing right and presses it to her mouth. face. Oh.
I'll ask of you. What do you want? What is your purpose? What is your gain? What do you see yourself in the next week or so? With all of this. He then pulled back the finger. She scans the room to see if anybody's like eavesdropping or listening or if Well, you did start the, shouting, uh, so a few people I have did. taken notice of you. I will I'll, I'll scan the room specifically to see if Maeve or Shark Boy is like in You the haven't city. seen Maeve since you boarded this ship. She okay. maybe and one maybe she took the captain's deal and didn't stick around. Who knows? You haven't seen her. After she signs up her boyfriend. <laughs> Her ex. That got rid of that problem. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just want to baggage. I want to get off this boat. Continue on with the four of us. Bye. That's all I want. If I can't be happy. Do you care for this, Mabe? She nods. One thing I've learned. Hard to say. Hard to do. And sometimes it's needed. An apology. Emotions are high. We nearly lost our lives. We lost other people. I understand that. Fortunately, it's not your decision afterwards. It hers. She'll need time to think, like she says. Whatever is set in stone. I think that needs to be moved forward. I don't even know where she is. I haven't seen her since we boarded. Well, you have time. Obviously, he gestures. Not in this state. Eventually. I think this is what I need to do. You're right. Just let go. It's not what I stated. If it's something you truly want to head for, you can. Just in this moment, just in this time, there's nothing you can do besides apologize. Passing too much, maybe weird, but not being there in general, it's also not good. It's balance. It's hard. It's hard. It's so hard. Oh, if only you knew. <laughs> That's the it's game that we all play. Awful. I hate games. This is horrible. I feel like I'd rather be asleep than wake up every day and just truly live in this nightmare. You think about it in that way, if you decided to sleep since the very beginning, you wouldn't have met all of us, you wouldn't have met the people you've done, you wouldn't have done the journey you've done before. It's always the saying, it's the journey itself instead of the true end to destination. There's a point where you may have never met Maeve, may have never met you. People die around you, you didn't know that you saved their lives. 
always the what ifs in this world. How do you know all this? How are you so wise, like? I don't have much time to think. The ponder. We always look back on our mistakes and see what else could have been done. And sometimes there is no other option. It's nothing that we could have done. Especially with this love, likeness, whatever you want to call it. Points with we can't do anything. Just sit and wait. Yeah. I know oh. what I need to do. I need to find Amelia. Poor thing must think that I hate her. I you know, she's right. And... <laughs> Nicole looks visibly confused. But... I slammed the door in front of her face. I was just so... I was raging on the inside. And I knew if I just said one thing to her, I would have lashed out. And then I would have truly regretted it. I need to fix myself. And I need to find her. Paul puts a hand on her, her shoulder. One last thing. Mm. Please don't kill him. Kill who? That shark. <laughs> I know you can. But let's not lose more people. I think I can, too. That's and I won't. Right. He's not important to me right now. I should remember when the last time I remember seeing Amelia. Um... You probably she came above deck very briefly with the cat person and then went back below deck. Um, you probably would have saw her with Thrak for a moment not too long ago either. She just seems to be moving about. Last time I saw her, she was with Thrak, but good luck on those finding those two. Yeah, she's she's quick. And she, she is took, quick. She puts the pillow away and I, pre I pretend makeup exists in D&D, &D and I try to freshen it up with makeup. <laughs> it doesn't exist. And she sort of... Shush! And then she, <laughs> she, she fixes herself. Looks a little bit better. Very much still very bloodshot eyes, but I guess like the pulsating veins have recited and... Sure, sure. You've calmed down. I'm gonna go... I'm, I go find her. I find Amelia. Amelia, you just left that boring conversation between those two goblinoid orcish creatures. Those freak. I mean, no, um, not a freak. He's a freak. And <laughs> yeah, <he's, yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he is and the, weird right now, though. He, he yeah, seems to have found know. a command. Yes, uh, he's found a command structure that calls to him for some reason. Yeah. But while you're idly looking for the next thing to do, maybe try to get back to the Jingo game, which picked up after Crow left. Uh, you would, you would hear Aurora's uh, hefty, hefty, masculine, deep voice. Hey, you up? Amelia. Oh, I would love. <laughs> are you? Are you actually? You exactly as I remember you. <laughs> I really hope it's not the fucking Bald shark! Head. No, no, that's you, that's you! Oh! oh <laughs> you like, oh, really? Like, oh, no, yeah, like, that's, your, oh, that's your deep, oh, masculine, Hulkin voice. That, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm really? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <God>. Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you found I her. I am Amelia, and she stares at her for just... Wait, am I a, a solid two seconds, and then she she gets down on her knees, and she just pulls her in. Help! I'm being abducted. 
<laughs> and then she just cries. I let go of the Jingo Star. <laughs> <laughs> what? What happened? Interference. Why is crying? What's going on? Did I do something Amelia. wrong? Amelia, I'm. I'm so sorry. For what? And I just don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Is there like a Thrak or an Ishtar within 30 feet? No. I don't think so. Nope. I'm still with a Gabo. <laughs> and now it's just you and her and Frederick? a bunch of idle crew members. Is it Frederick? Frederick, Frederick went to sleep. Frederick got really <laughs> embarrassed and rolled over. No, because she came and found you. She came up the steps to you. <laughs> Okay, I'll... And I, I, I release her from, from from the hug, and I just have both both hands on her shoulder. Your back snapped like a twig when she squeezed you. <laughs> no. Okay, it's alright. Okay, you see, you see just bloodshot eyes of what Aurora, happened? like she's. Why are you so sad? What 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 happened? I'm really sorry. About what? What's you? You slammed the. You slammed the door in front of your face. Oh yeah, that was that was an it. accident. You didn't mean to do that, so <laughs> I I did. Oh. But why? What did I do wrong? Did nothing wrong. And that's why I wanted to tell you I'm sorry. Oh, uh... Come, I'll say this. Okay. Coming on to the boat, there was... There was some sort of conversation that happened between myself, Maeve, and the shark man. Oh yeah, he's pretty cool, isn't he? And I came up on board on this ship. Very, very mad. Wait, did he say something mean to you? No. Oh. But I was so mad at that moment. And I know you were just... I know you were just curious and you just wanted to know what, what was going on and... I didn't want to lash out at you, Amelia. Amelia, you're the last thing that I ever want to hurt. Oh, but I'm not hurt. I'm okay. Don't worry. Uh, like my words. Your words. A couple of days ago was gonna was gonna hurt you. But I'm well. I'm, it it's okay. She pats you on the head. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Cry, <laughs> and I hug her again. I cry and I hug her again. Oh. Okay. So did you want to play Jingle with us? To play? Yeah, yeah, did you know how to play Jingle? I... I would love to play Jingle. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. I mean, breezy, breezy, solid, radical, cool, hot, you know, whichever one you want to use. Uh, I think you would use solid, right, because you got the Earth guy. So that was really solid, right? Yeah. Your vocabulary is increasing, Amelia. Isn't that great? No. Hippopotamus. Okay, so, uh... <laughs> oh my God. Let me show you the game. This is Frisbee. That's Sparks and that's Desmond. You guide me like a, like, like, like a child guiding an adult to play with them. Yep. And this is where we put versus where you would score. And then if you hit someone mm. with the ball, it's a... Foul. Oh. Yep. And then it's a penalty kick? Yep. Aurora can join us, right? It's alright, yeah. I'm a good kicker. Yeah, so I, I was about to take a break anyways. Yeah, alright, then we're yeah, in. Right. Let's do it. Alright. The two of you have some fun playing Jingo, sort of catching up how uh, Amelia's uh, naivety allowing you some respite from the emotional torture she could have put you through if she was a fully functional adult with a true person's mentality and not a what the weird fuck? creature. Whoa, this is the jaded. <laughs> <laughs> not a bizarre, emotionally stunted creature. Um, but maybe that's for the best. 
She is. Uh, the day goes late and night begins to overcome. People return to their rooms or, well, their, you know, their hammocks that are near each other. Uh, something you might find disheartening, maybe even disappointing, scary to some regard is you would come down and the area that you were sleeping in before your hammock is just taken and you might not find four that are close together or five that are close together. You might have to sleep away from each other. Hmm. Oh no. I can sleep on the ground. <laughs> A little freak sleeps on the ground, gets one level of exhaustion. Um oh, <laughs> Hey look, I'm sliding because the boat's rocking. Whoa. Uh, you get thirteen Whoa. splinters, I need thirteen con no, saving throws to make sure that bad bull, bad bull, bad bull. <laughs> All right. Do you want do you wanna sleep with me? There's not a whole lot of room, and given Aurora's mass, another person True. might rip the, rip the uh, hammock down. <laughs> you can have my hammock, Amelia. No, no, I got that. Look, my bed's already no, made. No, 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 no. I insist. Already made. I am no, no, no. right here. No, no. Like you are a growing rabbit. young woman. You need to sleep. These quarters are unacceptable. What? Huh? What orders? These quarters, oh, quarters. are unacceptable. Oh. Really? Thrax says from his hammock three spots down. Well, I mean, <laughs> if, if we get four of them, we can have a dollar. I, All right. I, it's, how do you know about USDA cards? I don't know. It's somehow in my head. <laughs> uh, Amelia. Hi. Hello. Hi. That's Amelia, question. I, I need, what I need you a favor. Like, yes, sir. No, sir. Earlier. What was all that about? It's proper etiquette on a ship, I, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't want to. It's a oh, fairly okay. large. Yes, sir. Uh, no, sir. I'm a medium. Yeah. I just assumed. I'm sorry. Uh, Wait, why weren't you doing that with the uh, the previous group then? On this uh, it's a smaller ship. This one's a little more intimidating, don't oh. you think? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I'm kidding. I mean, what, what have you been up to? I heard you were cleaning. Uh, yeah, I cleaned some cannons and uh, made some bombs, you know. The, the usual. Uh, I need you to do me a favor, Amelia. Well, oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on. I get up off my hammock. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I walk You do like a cartoon hammock spin and then fall? Uh, yeah. <laughs> then I, I walk over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's up? Hey, <laughs> listen. Yeah. I, need you to do me, I need you to do me a favor, Amelia. I need you to go talk with the captain. Talk with the captain? Yeah. Which one? The captain. The queen. Who? The pirate queen? Who's the that? The captain of this... <sighs> Did nobody tell her about the pirate queen? She's hot. Okay. <laughs> already looking for new... new, new uh, let, let's just say I, it. We are already are looking for new prey. <laughs> we are currently awesome. under the supervision as you might say not of of captain stone stormfist it, it's actually uh the pirate queen jolene okay yeah this yeah, is the yeah. ship i saw people like talking to this woman that looked like she was in correct yeah. and, okay. and as of right now we have absolutely no sway in this we're, we're coming in as literal peasants here and uh we have to make a somewhat of an impact or a statement that uh, we're a little bit higher than than these individuals, these sailors. No, okay. I don't. Yeah, I mean, I already, yes. I already wow. was uh, play sure. fighting with the crow, and he was like, "Wow, you are really right. good." Right, and I was taking the approach under Jungo, but honestly, it's exhausting. Oh. Uh, really? What you're gonna have to do is, uh, apparently, I had word that that trinket that we found. You you, you still have it. You know my special water one right here on my feather yeah. belt? Look how pretty yes. it is next to my feathers. It, it, it's beautiful. Yes. I, need I like you to... it so much. I'm so glad okay. I have it. Okay. Well, <laughs> I say that, you know, that belongs to, to the Pirate Queen. Why? Uh, well, it's hers. But it's mine. Well. You gave it to okay. me. Okay. Didn't we have this discussion with, uh, with Romeo? Where is Romeo? Where the fuck? 
Oh. He's always on you the know, top. He, you know he's always above deck. He's, he probably likes the look of the sky. That's right. Uh, well, we had a discussion with Romeo that we don't take things that don't belong to us, right? Yes, it's... but Okay, yep. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, we did learn that that object did belong to, to the Pirate Queen. Oh, I gotta give it to her then! Yes! <laughs> and... I'm going to deliver the goods! Come yeah, on, yes, my beautiful, yes, wanna but... take it? No, wait, 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 uh, but uh... also, you know, maybe perhaps, uh, you know, ask for better lodgings in return for such, uh... Better lodgings? Uh, better sleeping quarters. Sleeping quarters. Right. Uh, but if you uh, look around the boat, like I have, you know there isn't better sleeping quarters. I'm sure there are Every locations. Every floor has just bit. hammocks. Amelia, what? can you just do that for me? Can you just ask? I, can you deliver it and ask? And, I'll give her her pendant. Yeah, yeah, that's not mine. Even though it's so... Look at the water spin inside it. Ooh. It's beautiful, yes. yes. Uh, there's a there's a reward oh, for that of 500 it. gold, but... Oh! Yes, if you return it. But hey, that can help perhaps... pay back all the money I gave Raksha on this year. That's true. Uh, yep. Yeah, go ahead and... Go ahead and take that back for us, okay? Okay, and ask and, her and for... And hi to the queen for me. better sleeping lodges. So, get some logins. Okay, you don't have to name drop like that, but <laughs> yeah. fine. God. Alright, let's go. Does someone want to come with me? I'll come with you. Man. Whoever hasn't met the queen yet, I suggest. She's very, very, very... I'll uh... go with the queen. Okay, go for that. <laughs> Wait, why do you want to go see the queen? Because I want to join you, Amelia. You're not trying to butter her up, are you? Well, no, yeah, she is yeah. intimidating. Uh, <laughs> maybe some muscle going with you isn't the worst idea. Anybody else that exactly. wants to go, you're free to. I'm just going to go ahead and... <sighs> Mope. Mope? Yeah, I'm just Mope? here in I this hammock. I think his name was Mops. Okay, guess. So... <sighs> <laughs> okay, I'm off! I mean, I mean, you can come if you want to, or oh, you start off, Frederick. You're more than welcome to. <laughs> Frederick's been sleeping, Amelia. I don't think we should book him. Uh, just leave, maybe. <laughs> Please, sorry. All of this drama is so superficial. I just want to be at this island so I can fight and die. <laughs> drama, drama, we are drama years. Soon enough, Frederick. Soon enough, Frederick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, heading above deck. Uh, it is late, as I said. You were gone into the hour, the late hours of the evening. Uh, you would see at the helm is Eleanor Laveau, not the captain. Whoa. Hi, hello. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've met you yet. I'm Amelia. Um, hello, uh, Amelia. And um, what do I owe the pleasure? So my best buddy Thrag, he's the tall, mm -hmm. uh, darker skinned guy with the big muscles. Uh, Taller than the a handsome boy. orc. Really? Oh, he's pretty good. Really? <laughs> she shrugs her shoulders. Yeah, really? Pretty good guy. I mean, so he was saying that. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was a he was a workhorse today, you know. He did everything. Did Ishtar, did Ishtar come with us? Ishtar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So we were. He was saying that we might have something that belongs to the uh, Captain Qu Pirate Queen <laughs> person. Where could we <laughs> find her? Yeah, where can we find Jolene? Because yeah, supposedly be this sleeping. thing here belongs to her, which we found in the ocean, because Sonari graced us with it. She raises an eyebrow. See, it's we really, found, it's really pretty, out. like the water spins inside right. it, right? Mm -hmm. Right. You know, he's... Drak is single. No, he's quarters. Oh no, he wants quarter oh. lodgings. He's single if you were interested. And I just look at Eleanor like, have at it. And she shrugs again. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, nice, Tots. Uh, nice, she, by the way. 
she motions uh she motions some people some other crewmen and they they come up and uh you hear her ask go see if the captain's still awake and uh, they head off to a doorway uh, after a few minutes they come back i'm gonna be chatting up uh, uh, eleanor while we wait mm -hmm. what's the she coolest thing content. you've done what's the like the most fun thing you've done what's uh, uh, yeah hmm. Mm. We once harpooned quite the large creature, and it dragged us all through the waters. We Did are going it take very the entire fast. boat down in the water? Mm. Along the surface, oh, quickly. Wow. It must have been really big. This is a big boat. Mm hmm After a bit, um, jo Jolene comes marching up. This better be good if you're waking me. Uh, Lebeau. She <laughs> glares at her. It seems that Lebeau made no remark about you two being the reason to the uh, other crewmates she asked. What is it? Hi, hey, hi. Uh, I think mm -hmm. Lebeau asked for uh, on our behalf to have if you were still awake. Hi. I'm Amelia. This is Aurora. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Is it important that I know your names? Uh, it kind of is, because we have something that might interest you. Well, I mean, I don't know if the names are actually important. I was just told I was supposed to introduce myself when I talk to people, but... Hi! Uh, so, we found this beauty trinket, and our good friend Thrak. Uh, he's the tall uh, orc man who apparently is... Where's the person it was attached to? Uh, who? In the water. The person who had it. In the water, dead. He was a skeleton. Then keep it. What? What? But this is yours, apparently. I didn't care to have it back. I cared for the person who took it. Oh. She turns and walks well. away. She just lets you keep it. Oh, well, Amelia, congratulations. You've acquired a new trinket. She doesn't want a pretty trinket? No, I think she wanted She wanted the person that it was attached to, meaning that she probably mm. had a previous, previous quarrel with them and... Well, I have there's... his hat. Do you want? Oh, wait, is this his hat? <laughs> no, it's yes, not his hat. We... <laughs> yes, Amelia, my sweetheart. She, she already left. Oh, that's not. But didn't go the way Thrak wanted it to go. I didn't even get to say we wanted better lodgings, loggings, leggings. No, not, no, not lo leggings. No, not leggings or or or, or loggings. Okay. Lodging. Lodgings. Lodging. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, darn. I guess we didn't get what Thrak wanted. It. You're trying to stick Sorry. around your friends, right? Eleanor? Down yeah, she asked you that. Down below, you want to keep your spots? Just leave something on them. Claim is claim. Oh. Claim. I kind of run to blame. Okay. That was... Well, Thanks. Thanks for getting the captain. Um, I owe you one favor. Whoa. <laughs> Careful with that wording. Oh, don't, don't. She, thank you. That's very, it's very kind of you for you to wake up the captain and then, yeah. She's. So I just love white. seeing her pissed off sometimes. Really. I like her when she's pissed. Why what, was she p pissed right now? A bit peeved. A bit peeved. Why do you like seeing her pissed? It just is this like. Like, you get a show out of it? She turns her head to you very slightly and just goes, I think it's cute. Oh, well. Carry on. She's single, but... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just reiterating what you said for Thrak. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you never know nowadays which, which way people... Eleanor yeah. just seems to come off as a flirt. She just seems to be... Willing to say people are attractive. Oh, I had time to go report back to Sir Thrak, because he said do it and we did it, and now we go back oh, and tell them. Oh, not Sir Thrak, just, just Thrak Amelia. Well, he was calling people Sir earlier. Right, because those are higher ups. Well, he's taller than me, so he, I mean... Well, <laughs> higher ups in the, in the sense of not, not height, Amelia, not literal height, but uh, <laughs> social status, question mark. 
Status. Okay, well, we're going to go yeah. status track on the, on the mission that he gave us. Uh, yeah. Da, 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 da. Thrak, while they are gone and you're laying in your hammock trying I'm, to sleep. I'm shaking my hands, just sort of waiting, just <laughs> anticipation, just sweating on my brow. You, yep, gotta you get out hear, of this. You would hear, you'd hear <laughs> tap, ting, tap, ting, tap, ting. There it is. There it and is, a little, a little goblin would walk up to the side of your, uh, your hammock. Oh, shit! Wake up! Huh. Oh, what? What? I, I'm, not, I'm not asleep. Sure. You, you did good today. Thank you. Here. And he hands you a, a small box. Ah. Uh, what is it, sir? Open! Okay, yeah. <laughs> Opening. You, you open it. It is a entirely disassembled, down to the pins and, and smallest middle pieces, uh, handheld musket pistol. He's given you a pistol to put uh, together. <laughs> this. Keep you busy. This, uh. It's a beautiful treasure, sir. Thank you. <laughs> mm, mm. He, he nods his head and you hear. <laughs> Ting, uh, ting, as he walks off. Sweet dreams, my captain. Uh, not, not captain. Captain in my heart, sir. Uh, hey, it's Dougal. Hi, how's it going? Out of my way. <laughs> ting, ting. He All goes right. upstairs quickly. <laughs> We're getting the hell out of here. Hey, well, God. what's the good news? Where are we going? Captain's quarters, probably? Yeah, she didn't want to <laughs> get back. She just wanted to know if the person who had it was not alive anymore. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, so we apparently didn't the, we didn't do Yeah, but you you asked for better lodgings, right? I, I did um, say better leggings, but we didn't get no, them. Uh, lodging, lodging, Amelia. Lot, lodging, uh, uh, quarters, sleeping quarters, uh, yeah, no, room. You know, we, so we didn't get the opportunity <laughs> to, tell, to talk, so talk you, to her about lodging because she immediately so you, turned you didn't, around. You, you didn't talk with her then? We, no, we did talk to her, but she was very much, I don't care about your trinket, and have a good night, and then just walked off. But you know who did was, who was very helpful? Eleanor. The one that has, like, her... Yeah, but Eleanor is not the pirate queen. True, Jolene's but you know what she queen. did say? If we all wanted to sleep together, we just leave an, an article of our belongings on the hammock, and then it's claimed. I, I just asked you to do one thing. I, did the I mean, we did do it. <laughs> we, did we, <laughs> we did what you asked. We tried to do it. It wasn't difficult. No, it sounds to me like you didn't even ask. Like you just. Well, if we well, if we didn't have the opp well, if we didn't get the opportunity to ask her, I mean, is it really our fault? It sounds what am like I supposed she was to deal with the queen. It, what am I supposed to do? It takes Stop? less than a second. You just say, "Can we have better rooms?" I mean, like. Oh, then well, you know no what you talk to her. her. You can about. talk to her. You know what? Yeah, you talk to her. Get out of here. No, 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 not angry. No angry. Oh, she's very intimidating. She is very intimidating. Well, so she'd probably I, whoop no, your ass. She didn't say Well, anything. probably, but no, okay, maybe then. not. I would probably well, have a decent good. chance. No. Yes. I, well, that's why I sit Amelia, because Amelia is more, you know... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Go on. You're... You're more approachable, approachable. to talk. Approachable. Do you mean I'm yeah. friendly? Yes. yes Super I'm friendly. So friendly. Extraordinarily friendly. Over friendly. Like. Well, she seems exceeding like... friendship. Yeah, we, we 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 got it. I think the captain might have been tired because she was like, "Why'd you wake me or something?" The captain was also sleeping. Yeah. So I'm sorry we didn't get better lodgings. Uh, but so I, did you take I can the get... trinket or, oh, or what? You didn't want it. She didn't want it. You didn't want it. And then I get the 500 oh. goldies. You didn't get the 500 but gold either. Didn't. She didn't. She only wanted no, the No, she didn't gold. care about the actual. No, she didn't care about the actual trinket. She. Cared oh, what the fuck did you get? We got nothing except this really cool. You got cool nothing. Trinket. Yeah. I'm going to bed. <laughs> 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 he lays down, and you can see your your nearest hammock about six spots away. Thrak is by himself, surrounded by random sailors. It's repulsive. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, why don't you go do it then? This one over here smells terrible. I. 
He's fine. You don't smell too great yourself, fucker. Oh! Oh, I smell perfectly fine compared to you, sir. Hey, don't start a fight. Why don't you clean my ass like you clean the cannons, then, you big prick? <laughs> all right, all right. Does Thracken have to choke somebody right now? <laughs> What's a prick? Ed, what are you saying? You're teaching no, the child. No. Okay. No, she can't learn that Is word. It like I'm a really pack, angry. like a bird pack. Uh, no, uh, no, it's 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 a it's a mean word. It he's insulting. Oh, bad, you know, mad stuff. Okay. Yes, mad stuff, sweetheart, and I cover what? her ears. Well, he did say that he smelled really bad. I cover her ears. <laughs> yeah, she starts her bawling and child. she starts speaking louder. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it down! <laughs> Can't hear you! She's got my ears oh. covered! Right. I'm, like, oh, I'm gonna try to sleep later. now. Alright. I'm going to go back to my bed on the ground. Oh, Amelia, please sleep on my hammock. Oh, no, your hammock is for you. Well, it's yours now. Oh, I said I'm not taking your hammock. You are. You need bigger vest than me. I am very fast. Amelia, if you don't sleep on the hammock, I will be very sad. If you don't sleep on the hammock, I'll be very sad. Liar. I won't be. I don't. I want you to get good sleep. Can I try to convince her box to sleep on the hammock? No, that's a you and her thing. You know, that's a you and her. <laughs> Either know, your, your will is weak or hers is. I will guess a number 1 through 10, and if you guess my number, I'll sleep in the hammock. But if you okay. don't guess my number, then you mm. have to sleep in the hammock. That's fine, but you have to be truthful with I your number. I am 100% number. So 1 through 10, I promise 1 you. 1 through 10. Okay, can you count that high, Amelia? Yeah, I can count up to 100, if not more. Okay. Solomon good. taught me lots of things. All right, and then I look at Amelia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, yeah. I try to, I try to think whatever she's thinking of. Mm. You're trying to intrude in her mind. Unfortunately, you don't have that ability. <laughs> Unfortunate. Hmm. She's just How blinking about at you with a smile. Number. How many times does she blink? <laughs> like, How many times does she? What? How about number eight? Close, I had nine. Ah. Uh, I didn't okay. think you'd guess the one right next to ten, because it couldn't be ten, because it had to be between one and ten, but really it was only two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And I went to the very end, because I was like, she's not going to guess the one at the very end. So that means you have to sleep in the hammock. That was close. You would. I'll get you next time, Amelia. I do have my special mushroom pillow from Fergus. So I will pull that out. It's very comfy. I it's a wet noise. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Both of you pass out eventually. Ishtar, you trance? Always. Yeah, not last baby. night. No, no, no. It's not always. You slept like always. a normal. You slept like a normal human does. Alright. As night begins to pass, Aurora. Aurora again, sweet, sweet, hey. innocent Aurora. Hey, at this time you? of day and this oh, part of the country localized now. completely in your kitchen. Pick on someone else. No, Aurora, you, you feel a, a gentle hand on your shoulder trying to stir you awake. Huh? Uh, opening your eyes, there's a very dimly lit lantern. You can see it's none other than Maeve. Oh. Would you mind if we had a word? Um, yeah. Um, when I follow her up. She, uh... You, you, you begin to sit up to get ready to stand, but she sits down beside you. She doesn't want to go anywhere. Oh, okay. She's gonna talk here. Amelia! With your very high passive perception. You could be stirred awake. You could hear this. Oh my god. I have the option. If I that's will, up to you. I will wake up and listen. 
All right. I, um... <clears throat> I wanted to talk about us, if that's... Her. Does With it, you. Does it have to be here? There's not much privacy. Fair. Yeah, I'm... I need to tell you something as well. I wanted to apologize. Not because I think your actions were entirely okay. I also think my reaction wasn't entirely okay. You called us official, you... You put names to it. Titles and things I didn't know, or I wasn't ready to hear things I hadn't emotionally accepted, things we didn't discuss. Um, I, I want to start this by saying that if I was made to choose, I would choose you. Rex is a great friend of mine. The best I had. But I thought he was dead. I came to terms with that a long time ago. Him coming back wouldn't suddenly belittle what we were. What we could have been. But that's... That's when reality begins to sink into this situation. What can we be? I'm not an adventurer. You. I wouldn't... When this trip is over, it's not like I would go to the shore and go to whatever death-defying adventure you had next to whatever battle with death you would have next. And that's just the truth of the matter. So what could we be without asking each other to give up what they're currently working for? What they're currently trying to accomplish. After this boat ride, we might not see each other for years. And that's the painful reality. I want to ask you, I want to be selfish and ask you to stay. But it's not right that I do. Before you continue, um, I just, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for how I acted that day and how I continued to act during that entire situation it wasn't right and what you said at that restaurant is a hundred percent correct I didn't know that you had a past lover. You've, you've never brought it up the times that we were together, and I, this, I, I just I shouldn't have been so. I, greedy. I have a few past lovers. It just, it's not something that comes up naturally. Like I, mean, I said, we, you know, we had never made it official. 
I mean, you didn't expect for him to show up. I, I mean, I just, it, it wasn't, it wasn't right. And my actions that day showcased how insecure I am with losing something that I really care about. And I guess at the time, I'm just, I'm not really good with my words. And I should have, I should have let you enjoy your time with him and catch up and just talk about everything that he's missed. And that would have been a beautiful memory for you. And I very, very selfishly ruined it. Believe me, I regret it. I really do. Maeve, I just want to see you happy. And she, she sort of nods her head along with you. And I'm so grateful that we've been able to spend all this time together. I am. I was just never brave enough to tell you. We both made each other happy. Now, about the reality, is there any chance that after the end of this, you would stay? Oh. Just realistically, don't feel bad. We just have to look at reality. You have your people that you tag. I have mine. I put my put my hand over her shoulder. This is reality. What you and I share. And what we've shared previously. As much as I want to stay with you, I... I have three other people that I need to look out for. She, uh, she nods her head. The answer that was expected. It's not an easy one, but it's what, you know, was the obvious choice. She would, uh, hug you tightly. You're not losing me. Nothing can take away the moment we spent together. Whether we worked out or not, we would always have this journey. I will really never forget you, Maeve. I won't. And maybe when all this is over, maybe. My mother's always told me that if you love something, you let it go. And if it comes back, it was always yours. I don't believe this is the end for us. She, uh... She sort of lets out a, a soft sigh, trying not to hurt your feeling. But um, she she would uh loosen her hug and sit back straight, and she just would reply, 
try to keep your eyes forward and on reality and make sure that you and your friends make it through whatever they come in. And maybe at the end, we'll see each other again. I'll even promise you that I'll watch out for them if my life depended on it. She, um, she nods again, and uh, she would stand and dim the lantern, and uh, you would watch her disappear into the darkness of the below decks. Wait, before she leaves, can I give her, like, a good a goodbye hug? Sure, of course. I give of course her a you can. Hug. One, one more tight hug. The last. No! <laughs> <laughs> I, I give her a hug, and I whisper it into her ear, and I say, um, I'll see you later. She does not reply. You are left there alone in the darkness, laying in your hammock. One other figure in the darkness awake, but never having made their presence known. Oh, I'm and very she... sneaky. Leave me alone. <laughs> she... <laughs> She's just lets out a big sigh. And then she looks over at Ishtar's hammock. I don't know if he's a, I don't know if he's asleep or not. Or he's a... Uh... You know, right. I, what's what's Ishtar's trance pose? <laughs> Fingers <laughs> underneath his chin. <laughs> he's uh, like, you know, maybe he sits with his legs crossed and his, his index and thumb together, like meditation. Who knows? What, what's Ishtar's trance pose? I'm like, uh, his legs are crossed together. He's sitting down, but he has his hands face down on top, on top of his knees. And then whatever he's leaning against on his like on his back, he's like leaned in or leaned back as far as he can. A true, a true stoic figure, a statuesque trap. What a drow! And then I, 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 I look what over. What a drow! <laughs> Racist! I don't see that. I don't see that. I don't see that. I just, what I, a I just human! Look over, I look over at his chart and he's trancing it, yeah, and then. Underneath my breath. So even if the slight possibility of someone was awake, they wouldn't be able to hear it. Underneath her breath, she says. Thing. Was that thanks? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, because my mic doesn't pick up, you see? So that's why I'm like, huh? Yeah, that's so. We just, Amelia writes under the end of the deck with a dagger. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> she heard it. And then I go back to sleep. Okie dokie. Alright. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry, Box. You're horrible. Why are you saying. Like, that's it. You, technically, if your emotion's coming out, he's winning, by the way. No! I'm kidding. I'm not crying. <laughs> what? That was a mercy. Maeve gave you an easy out, alright? It was an easy out. She was lying. He was all the bruise. I know this no, she wasn't could have been lying. the perfect time. She <laughs> wasn't lying. It was just deep down. She was hoping that Aurora would stay with her. All lies. You were being I used. Then I could make a dwarf, and then actually, you know, like yeah, whatever. finally. Oh, you're making a dwarf I know, right? still. Hey, we are we are going to expedite things over the coming days of travel. Um, so, is there anything that you guys thought would be pertinent? enough to want to address during the travel there. Just, I would have just spoken to Ishtar and, and just tell him about the, the event that happened that night and thank him for the advice that he's given me. And that's it. Oh, that's very sweet. Let's take a look what? at this no. gun. Amelia gives, <laughs> Amelia gives Aurora extra TLC the next day. It might be suspicious, it might not be suspicious, I don't know, it doesn't really matter, but Amelia's uh, you, you know, the, the prior day, you did have that whole, I'm sorry for slamming the door, you know, maybe it's just a, maybe there's reasons it could happen outside of that. Exactly. <laughs> you should have an extra slice of pancake, because you deserve it, Roy. you're my favorite, here. I love you, Amelia. <laughs> okay. And Thrak, you want to work on your gun? Do you want to work on yeah. your gift? 
Yeah. Okay. What are you, you doing? Me? She's over her shoulder watching him as he makes it, right? You, you uh... <laughs> in, our, in our montage here, Amelia's just behind him with her yeah. hands behind her back, and she's that, kind of swaying fine. left to right. Um, this, this goes so, right here. Uh, what you... What you have in total, after you pick that up, there's like a sort of a, a felt sort of pad that it's on. Underneath is all the parts of a tinkerer's kit. You've been given a tinkerer's kit as well. Oh, cool. Hey, that's like my firearms. Oh. Yeah. So would, you, would you like to roll me an intelligence since you aren't proficient with tinkerer's kit? Yeah, yeah. Let's see how you do. Oh, oh, not good. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this thing that is alien horrible. to you, Thrak. It's I utterly uh, alien. Uh, no. your, your journey. <laughs> Amelia, can you can you get off my back? Um, <laughs> Amelia, <laughs> would you would you like to help Thrak? Would you like to have been maybe no, pointing no, at things? No, that's not where that goes because I use it all okay. the time, and that should be here. Are you sure, <laughs> Thrak, you're allowed to re-roll once. You you'll have advantage on the roll, so you know better than a two. What a chance! Oh, yeah. oh! Wait, why would I not oh. get to roll? Because oh. this is this is just helping Thrak oh. make the gun. Oh. He's the I one mean, doing the action one. of making the gun. Does he have inspiration still, or did he use it? No, he used, used it. it. So it's just a 10, so it doesn't do anything for me. You know what? It's the waves. The, this, this, <laughs> it's the constant just rocking motion of the He doesn't break it, right? It's still, it's still... No, he doesn't break it. I would have needed a natural one for it to I have a broken do it. piece. That needs why. <laughs> Niet! You've helped him. You helped. <laughs> that was your trying. Maybe another, like maybe another night. I'm putting it away for now. It's hurting my head. I don't know. <laughs> oh, but uh, that, that's uh, just happening, and days now will become weeks. What's you guys your are on this. Like uh, I'm, I'm dead. Anyways, uh, <laughs> <laughs> days become weeks. You you deal. You start uh, doing long speak, right? You start. Do you long speak with anyone? Uh, yes. All right, just let, let me know. You 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 have weeks, so you can send you a whole bunch. To, yeah, you should talk to Lil yeah. Il Monte. You should talk to Professor. Um, Neil will be bugging uh, <laughs> Ishtar about. Mm -hmm. Of course, I will anyway. also do some more duels with Crow, and she'll introduce Roa to Crow, and there will be. Duels. I uh, given just your base initial rolls, you, you you pretty much handedly beat Crow most times you face him. Oh, he, he he is good too. He, he's not like it's not like you're without effort, but you you do you do not have to tap into your psionic abilities. You're just your hand to hand is superior to his. I also want to one day, like you know, um, secretly create my whirlpool very far away from the ship just to see. It. Uh, everyone gets thrown into it and dies. And no, uh, you, you 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 very much can. <laughs> you you would uh, you would. I, could, I got fire, and now I got the water. You're gonna get air soon, you know, an airy Ooh, artifact. Or something. Air is my favorite. And then uh, you're gonna get earth. You're gonna get earth bending. I'm going to be the champion. The star child avatar. Wait, why is he then, back here? <laughs> after weeks, ahead of you, you see a massive cloud that is ground level. The water is quiet here. Even the waves are less than everywhere else. You are at the precipice of the the f steam wall. Oh, this is that it's hot. Like about... Just being clo this close, not even touching it, you can feel the heat radiating from it. Prolonged exposure, you could probably feel that your lips would probably chap and uh, crease. You're, you're, the moisture in your body is reacting in a negative way. Well, that's ominous. Um, the captain would step forward and grab Romeo by the, the collar and like lift him up towards the steam wall to face him towards it. Thy aunt being very forward. Wait, don't be and me too, uh, robot. It, But thou art hasty. We require night. So prepare thine sail. Lower thine anchor and wait accordingly until nightfall. You said we had to go underwater, right? He nods. 
How the hell are we going to take this ship underwater? This is a big ship. Hmm. Smaller than the large though. What? Thy will be fine and thine ship secured. Everyone waits patient. This is a eerily calm area. You can hear noises out in the steam wall, distant sounds that sound like like <laughs> Just it, constantly, just pushing. Every ten, <laughs> every ten minutes or so, you hear, you hear that. It sounds so distant, though. It must be loud. It must be huge. Whatever is causing that. And eventually, the sun begins to set. Now, a, a lot of people who would normally be working the day crew, uh, they took naps during this time because a lot of them want to see what's going to happen. Passing the steam wall is not something that is known. And as, as the final, or as the sun finally sets off in the far west, uh, Romeo steps to the front of the ship, and you watch as his eyes begin to glow. Ooh. And he flashes a weird sort of pattern, just off, on, off, on, off, 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 on, on, off, on. It's a weird pattern. It's a code of some sort that he's using with lights. Zero, one, and after. Zero, zero. After about 10 seconds of that, there's silence before you would hear under the water and light would flash on towards the ship. The entire uh, below the bow illuminated by something utterly massive. You would hear, uh, you would see the water beginning to move and disperse in a, a weird pattern as these uh as the lights go off and then you'd see the water begin to raise and higher you would watch it begin to spill off as this massive metal structure began to rise from the water towering over a hundred feet above the bow as it rises you can hear the the sort of hum of a, a heavy metals, the turning of, of gears, and you can see where its chest cavity would be, the, this chest area. There's a cavity and a large sort of glass and door. There's water sloshing about inside. This creature is much like Romeo and LT, but gigantic, what the, utterly huge. Are you saying that we have one of those Pacific Rim themed titans in front of us? Jaeger. Yeah, but instead of a instead of a power core in its chest, it seems to have a cavity that it's going to put you in. Oh my God, Zooks! <laughs> wow! It it watches the chest cavity swings open, and all all the water begins to rush in, and this starts to pull your ship in as well. That's where. Oh no. The ship pulls in, and the creature closes this area. We're calling it a creature for now. The structure. Inside, you can see uh, this sort of rusted copper-looking metal with this sort of green tinge to it now. Um, the inside is temper tempered. It is not too hot, not too cold. You, you feel fine in here, not like outside. And you slowly watch as the outside world begins to submerge, water overtaking the view you guys have. And you're going down and down and down further, hundreds of feet down. What the hell's going on here? <clears throat> We're about to be transported underneath. I thou what know the hell if I that? explained it to you. Well, I mean, what was that? That thing had some sort of sentience to it. We're in it right now. Did it eat us? Thou could say it ate you. Um, oh no! Yes. Come poop. It's 
uh, it's a failure of design. It was supposed to be able to combat Mariana's monsters since they seem to hate our existence at a very early time. But it requires too much energy. They literally like Pacific Rim to fight Kaiju. <laughs> it can only stay on this. He motions his hand out. And as you're looking out into it, you can see several of these sort of uh, pipes coming from the bottom and along the floor line going upwards. These, And you realize these are must be the things making the steam up above and heating the water down below. And All right. That, and uh, you can every like now and then you would be able to hear the loud. <laughs> this thing is just walking along the bottom. Don't we hear like metal scraping. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every now and then this it is not well maintained. It doesn't seem it seems that maintaining this thing is exceedingly difficult. Oh, and uh, right now they're using it for small transports because it can only fight on this grid. Um, everyone else seems to be in a relative awe. A lot of people are bracing the cannons and looking around, wondering what they would do if this thing tried to kill them. How they could even handle that right now. Though the captain seems to be aware of that. It is basically at this thing's mercy right now, if this thing does have any free will or malice. Though it doesn't seem to. Um, but yeah, this journey is continuing for some time. You'd have over, over an hour down here. What, what, what do you guys, what do you say? Dancing what like guys, corgis. Huh. Uh, sending them out towards the edges of the walls. You can Honest see that this. give us light inside, right? Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah. They're, and there's light on the boat, too. You know, they, they have lanterns hanging and stuff. Hey, hey, Aurora, hold up Solari here, the two reeds. Okay. okay, and then watch my corgis jump through them. One, two. Okay, and then I hold it up. I'm gonna have the corgis jump through the reins like it's a circus act. Oh. You are not getting as much attention as you'd hope, but you are entertaining yourself. Isn't that cute? Well, that's cool. I like Lucky. Uh, Lucky was a good standing. Dog. Standing at the back of the ship, looking out towards the the glass opening or the glass front of the the Jaeger, we'll call it for now. You know, we'll give it the uh, the name since it is basically a Jaeger who was made to fight fight big sea monsters. <laughs> a failure um, would be the would be Stormfist and Jolene. They seem stoic. They're both bastards, like father, like son, daughter. You know. But after. A few hours, you would uh, you would feel that it steps onto something metal, <laughs> and Romeo sort of acknowledges this by looking a bit upwards, as you would watch it begin to rise. There must be a you garner. There's probably a there must be a platform here. It steps on this thing. Doesn't seem to swim upwards. Um, but as it rises, and uh, you guys, um, the the water that you guys can see through the opening becomes more illuminated, slightly more transparent. You can see hundreds of lights uh, through the wobbling, warbling effect of the water, uh, distant as they are. It is exceedingly bright wherever you're going, especially for the fact that it's currently nighttime um, until... The, uh, the glass dome breaches the surface and you can see an illuminated city that spans from one corner of this landmass to the other. Wait, so we had, we went up, went up a little bit and we've actually breached surface then? Yes. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. And it, we're still, we're, we're at night still though, right? Yes, okay. it, but this is just an illuminated city. How, how long are we uh, traveling under, underwater exactly? About, I said a few hours, but it'd be probably like five. Okay, so it's like half a day almost. Well, from travel, yeah. day, day of travel, I guess. Yeah, okay, it was a long time. Yeah. Oh gosh, we would have uh, some people probably napped, then, right? Yeah, we, some we, people we, probably took naps at this point. Okay. Th 
399 corgis. <laughs> Our Aurora's, even Aurora's mighty arms are tired. Uh, and then we're all just laying down. I'm like, just judge her with my finger to make them jump. And there's not even a rain up anymore. <laughs> And very unceremoniously, the chest cavity begins to open, and you guys are almost ejected. You're f like the water comes flowing out really quickly as your uh, boat like sort of crashes into the water and then uh, comes back up, uh, rocking back and forth. Is oh. everyone okay? Where's <sighs> Thrak? Is Thrak? Are you? I'm fine. That was terrifying. Did a bunch of water get like splashed up because of that. Yes, it splashed up. Sorry, and then, we, like, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I, probably, but it would spill over the edge. I gotta get out of this ocean. <laughs> he's, he's wet. His beard's all matted. <laughs> uh, that's just right, so was here during that, though. Oh boy. I miss mouth, I man. Miss you know. Mouth too. You you had a I week don't. of you had like weeks of travel. Did you never bring mouth out? Oh, no, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you fucking monster, man. He's your friend. You just you just wanted to we keep wasting ten gold. Uh, no, you know I, you know I, what? I uh, all right, like all right, person. all right. I would have brought him back. I would have brought him back. My, my He's buddy, here. my little friend. All right. All right. God damn, uh, no. He takes one point of bludgeoning damage from the water. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and his sense of uh, a black licorice, he's gone. Mouth, are you okay? <laughs> he puts his thumb up. Get get him his sword. <laughs> I think you have it. I have it. I thought it was oh. belt. Alright, good. Uh, oh, no, the sword was lost the, the movement of the giant in that mouth machine. He takes one of your chakrams and runs away with it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give him his sword. All right. Like, he takes are you it. Sure, we want to give him this Buster sword. No, he's got his Buster sword again. Why do, why do, we, why do, we, why do we want a guts mouth? Why is an arm mouth? An arm <laughs> mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cleaving through eight people with one horizontal swing. What? Uh, but as everyone is like sort of getting their bearings, looking out, you're collecting your stuff, you're uh, coming down. Uh, Stormfist comes like jogging to the front of the ship and puts his hands on the, the edge. What is that? Because looking out, an illuminated city like this, like every window illuminated, there's street lights. There seems to be lights aimed up into the sky. This is alien to you. Like to us in real life, yeah, it's a big city, but to this is utterly alien. It's this is Chicago. Bizarre. <laughs> What? How far away are we? Uh, is hundreds and hundreds of feet. You are out in the ocean. Damn. But the city is massive, and it seems to span the almost the entirety of this visible side of the island. Are there giant holograms of women trying to sell? No, women? there's not giant holograms. There's there's not any giant hologram women going. You look lonely. There's no Blade Runner. <laughs> there's no. I mean, there might be a sad gnome Blade Runner somewhere, <laughs> but there's no giant hologram woman. Just what is this place? And behind you, you would hear the water sort of dip as the large Jaeger uh, slowly goes back underwater. Hi, thank you for not turning us into poop. I look, I look over at Romeo. What do you call that place? Um, that's the big city. We should probably head east. That is voice change. <laughs> that one, um, where? We are working for rebels. East. He's pointing his oh. fingers. <laughs> we avoid that place. What's the name of the city? New Solaris. New Solaris. <laughs> Another one, but this this one's on this area. It's not how I recall it. No New Solaris then. What? Uh, no, no, that was a mistake. This is this is the original New Solaris. Oh, there there was there was huh? New Solaris with a gnome leader. Mm -hmm. And the, the, these are the gnomes that had departed. Major Bo Mayor Bo J. No, no. Okay. no. I'm so excited. All right, so we got to <laughs> head the boat to the to, to port side to the port. Romeo <laughs> <laughs> looks a bit uneased as off in the distance you would hear. 
Well, that does it tough. Good. <laughs> Splash right beside your ship, ah! and then two more similar ones. As uh, off in the darkness, you can see this barely illuminated large metallic vessel coming your direction. Ah! And there seems to be another one behind it. Both of them bigger than your current ship. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, no. uh, from the island, uh, basically. They They're from the. Are they made of wood? Yes, they are made of metal. Oh, no. They are. These are. These are these are very dangerous ships for your current time period. This is not good. Um, and uh, so as that happens, uh, Jolene goes, "Everyone, hands on deck! Evasive maneuvers. We need to get this thing to shore." All right, I'll help. <laughs> You're doing your best I have to help. An idea. Oh, emblems of whirlpools! Confuse those ships. Three hundred foot range. Uh, you, you put it between those two ships and your ship. Yeah. And, uh, the ships, the ships do have some issue. They, 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 you see, they do start to list and, uh, try to go around it. It is, uh, it is giving you guys more distance. Aha! Um, and as you're heading, unfortunately, west, the opposite direction of where Romeo said you should go. Wait. Because oh, east, the- East, port, port! <laughs> <laughs> We can't go east, those ships are there! Ah. Oh, that's where they're coming from. Okay. Yeah, they're coming from the east side of the island. Another one would begin to crest the west side of the island. <gasps> oh. Oh. And I um, at, at this, oh, no. Storm, uh, Storm Fist suddenly grabs Amelia's arm and goes, Get to the lifeboat! Get it to shore! What? You and your party, go! He told me to do it, but you're the leaders! <laughs> Frederick, what do we do? <laughs> uh, uh, why, why, why me? Oh god, why me? <laughs> lifeboat, lifeboat! <laughs> He's like... Lifeboat. lifeboat. Alright. Uh, do you guys obey that command, or do you got, or do you want to try and help them fight these odds? And find a place of refuge? <laughs> we, have to, we have to do as they said! It's looking pretty grim. Romeo, you're coming, right? Your your cannons are firing, by the way. You, like every now and then, you just hear. Dum, 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 dum. Uh, but even when some hit, uh, one might pierce through, and it might cause you might hear like a distant like you know a siren go off. But most of them, you just watch dum, 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 and dent dent the metal work. Um, so what about Thrax oh. special explosive rounds? <laughs> the, the, mm. You mean the, the, the grenades that he made with uh, Jungo? Mm. Or not Jungo. Uh, those are grenades. Those are for Dang. throwing. Okay, okay, okay. Does, does, does that roll but come with <laughs> oh. Or do we have to uh, throw a, a wooden door out into the ocean? And No, no, there's a life... There's a, I call it a lifeboat, but it's a, a, one of those boarding ships. Okay. It, it can seat like eight people. So uh, Romeo does, uh, you know, when, when it's been lowered into the water, Romeo does hop down and smash right through the bottom and sink into the ocean. No, he hops down and lands uh, lands on it. Uh, Frederick will also go down. Do, do you guys all board the boarding ship? Yeah, yeah it yeah, looks yeah, like... Yeah. I think so, okay. yeah. Yep. Okay, Ishtar? Ishtar? Sweet, sweet Ishtar? Yes, I do join. Okay, all right. Uh, hopping down, you, you quickly grab the oars and begin to row towards the shore. Uh, the darkness is providing you cover as uh, you watch your the ship you are on continue westward, uh, sort of passing by the other one. They're exchanging shots at each other. It's not going well. Um, but as you're going, you would see a light begin to go across the surface of the water, almost like a spotlight, you could say. Oh? I, do you try to avoid it? I will should avoid it uh i will how big is this ship uh it can see comfortably see eight people so probably like 20 15 feet 20 feet long all right i'm feet? say everybody just stay calm i'm gonna go ahead and throw a black steel marble on the floor of it and it's gonna create uh darkness i can oh. see through it <laughs> <laughs> a and random I, cloud of darkness going through the area, but uh, enough so that maybe they just think should, it's 
shouldn't be able to see it through the light, right? Well, the thing is that the, the light will see, they'll see with the spotlight, a blob of black smoke just sitting there on the top of the ocean go, what it, the heck is that? <laughs> will it do that? I mean, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't it's, know. It's, like, it's not like, it's not like it blocks light, what it is, it, I mean, it does block light, but it looks a like spotlight? a spotlight? Yeah, it looks like a smoke screen, right? If you're throwing a black well, if smoke. If you shined a light on a dark, like, how would that work? So, like, <laughs> Let's say, you, you, you know, you have a, a chain link fence that goes 400 feet, right? You're shining the light across it. You can see the chain link fence the whole time as you're shining the light across. But then let's say 10 feet of it is uh, been uh, darkness spelled. Then uh, as you're shining across, it would just look like a, a dark cloud. That won't cloud. do anything. But okay. it, would, it would make it not a ship. And if they're just quickly glancing over, they could think it's... I don't know a bomb that went off in the area. Uh, it is I, there are re feasible less... explanations. I mean, Did I'll you... take a chance. I'll take the chance. I'm going to use it. We got a bunch of. Them. All right. Uh, I'll use it, and then I'll guide the ship to the to the shore. All right. So we have Thrak use another marble. He's got a what? Left. Two left. Two oh, left. Because I, uh, the... uh -huh. I took uh I took uh Sidex. Yeah. Right. Okay. The, the light of uh, you know runs over that pretty quickly still looking around uh, before seeming to focus back on the ship it's coming from a tower on shore hmm. um, I think but, we should I, I can ask should we go directly underneath the tower well, it says us us and Romeo that's it right now yeah sure. I mean what, what do and you Frederick, think Romeo uh, the, the tower is, seems to be up on the shoreline. So, like, if you were, if you reach the tower's base, you'd be uh, docking. The, you'd be hitting the the sand, like the shoreline. That's what I'm saying. It might be, it might be more safe to be right. right under that thing than be off to the side of it. Well, it's going. It's probably looking towards the the vessel, right? So we just snuck yeah. past it right now. So it, yeah, we probably do want to move shoreland. You're right, but probably not on right next to the tower because there's probably people there too, right? So we'll kind of get towards the center towards it but then it's coast along the shoreline and continue going west yeah we'll coast along the shoreline heading east or heading east i guess yeah way the way they wanted us to go oh, oh so, east then okay i'm sorry i just imagined our head that we well like... east east is the way that we're supposed to be east going is the way romeo wanted you right, to so go we have an island here right and we're on a little boat that was out here and that boat was getting attacked, and Romeo wanted us to go to this location, but then we went that way. So then our boat was over here, and they're like, get off the boat! So then we went, we're heading a little boat inland. And then there's a spotlight here going, what's going on out there? So like, if we went east, wouldn't we go through the spotlight, right? Like, but if we continue going west, we could, I don't know. Well, the spotlight went through us All right. already. So yeah, the, we're spotlight, gonna... the spotlight went towards your the vessel you were uh, or yeah towards the vessel that you guys came off of it it's looking at the vessel we're gonna get a distance inward where probably to go oh, underneath whatever might be looking out and then we're gonna go go eastward mm -hmm. all right um all right so you're approaching the shoreline now and um you you can see because you have very high perceptions in your group. Well, dark, dark, under darkness, so it's hard to see. Well, uh, no, as soon as we get past the spotlight, I'll drop it. So, I mean, I just want to be out of the spotlight. So I just uh, want to know what I see within a mile, the minute I come. It's dark, a mile it's away. night. Yeah, yeah, it's nighttime. Well, wait, I don't have... Hold on. You don't have dark vision, no. I'm never no. going to use my eagle eye. Yep, you shouldn't have picked it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I... <laughs> She's used her eagle eye a few times. It's just she always tries to it's use it in not, dark. It's not daylight, is it? She got an owl eye. Well, no, not out here. In the city, it's bright oh. light, but out here, it's not. But Ishtar has very high passive, and he also has dark vision. Ishtar, you can see in the water, and you don't. You probably don't see all of them, but these large floating circular devices with a bunch of prongs coming out of them. Uh, lining near the shoreline. They're blind. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what There's... those are. There's devices. Does anyone what? else see that? No, what I can't see anything. What are those? Romeo? I think they are like corgis. What is that? Yeah, I'm sending the corgi down. 
Um, yeah, it's a, a big metal metallic circle with a bunch of um, metal prongs coming out of it with rounded ends. Oh, yeah, um, but we wouldn't know what that is. Yeah, that yes, clearly, that's that why is. Romeo <laughs> Romeo will say they <clears throat> those are bomb. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. anti shift mines. Okay, so clear, clear, steer clear of those. Right. Are any in our path? Are they drifting to us? Uh, well, the you guys don't see all of them. You are looking out. Uh, in front sure. of us, like there, there a hundred percent could be Get it from one us. in your path. Quickly. I mean, I not within sixty feet of true vision here. Uh, true vision, yeah, but um, you know. It's it's not like a, an illusion or something hiding from you. It's just an object under the water. Um, yeah, you could probably see a few of them though. Yeah, we need to. I'm gonna try to steer clear of them. <clears throat> How heavy do they look? They look extr exceedingly heavy. Ugh, I can't even push them to the side. Well, the, these are like big, you know, big sea sea mines. This place yeah. is bizarrely you know for out of character it's incredibly advanced compared to primera like 200 years different right i mean i have nothing i can do with that no nope, you're just avoiding them as best you can for now um but on a robo you guys realize it's going to take you like hours to get around this island <laughs> Stop. Yep. <laughs> Aurora. Put, yeah. Put more effort into it here. <laughs> roll, 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 roll. roll too much. And as you're rowing as hard as you can, Amelia, <laughs> one of your happy corgis with its tongues out, suddenly gets a, a bullet ripped through it, <gasps> which dissipates its form a little bit, but then it reconstructs because it's just a, a light apparition. Someone shot my corgi. Yeah, but then you hear many more <laughs> as from the shoreline, you can see a, a sudden puff of smoke appear, a wall basically, uh, as multiple people have noticed your well-lit ship out in the harbor. Uh, no, 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 the corgis are- You had a light on? Are, are dim, now. dim, dim light. They're, they're dim. Yeah, but it's the only light out there. I mean... Oh my God, I can't see where I'm rowing. You made I'll a dismiss bunch of them. Flow. I'll dismiss them. I'll make it look like they killed the corgis. Boof. I, I well, they they probably see you at this point. They, they, they were ahead of the boat, by the way. These are people on the shore. Yeah, and the corgis are like they can go 120 feet ahead of the boat, and they only make 10 feet of dim light. Come on, oh, yeah, yeah. come on. No, they they spotted the lights you had. This line of lights leading back to you. No, no, I I, I had. Um, you know, they don't have to connect to 10 feet with and If they're me. 110 feet out, then they aren't illuminating the mines in front of you. Yeah, I was just using them to scout the space in front of us, you know? Like, no. 60 feet ahead of no. us. No, that uh, is a complete bastardization of what I you were doing. Uh, what? I didn't know what you were doing there. Yeah, we're, okay. we're caught. Okay, hold on. If I, if, I, mean, I can literally do it with tokens. Uh, if our boat was Maeve, and I had dancing light corgis like 100 feet ahead of us, looking to see if there's mines in our path, right? It'd be a hundred feet away from it, and the corgis only do ten feet of light in front of them. Yes, it would draw their attention if you wanted to give. Oh, hey, I see candle candle light floating out on the ocean out there. That's weird. And they could shoot that, but it's still a hundred feet in front of us, right? If we're a hundred feet away from the shoreline, they'd still have to be able to see our vessel. But which... so you weren't illuminating the water directly in front of your vessel that might hit the mines. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was doing ahead of the sixty feet of vision that Thrak had, right? So I'm like ninety feet in front of our vessels where I was trying to see if there were mines up there. You know, that's not what I got from that. But uh I can't, I can't see though where well, I'm rolling. My reasoning right is that I that I knew Ishtar and Thrak would be able to see the immediate space, right? Or to some regard, that's that's what I, that was what my intent is. But if you want him to be shooting us and see us, then go ahead with it. It's fine. I, that's not that's not what oh. I was trying to argue to you at all. Oh, whose dice is this? It's not mine. So yeah, it's okay. Right. Go ahead. Yeah, they they see us. Okay. Ah, we're being shot at. No, um, do I even know, DM, where I'm rowing? Since I can't see now that the lights are like. Uh, I, I mean. Can't see. 
You, you knew you were rowing forward. I'm sure they were directing you where you were going. Heck, okay, just tell me where to go, guys. <laughs> and how far away are they from us? Uh, they seem to be about, uh, I would say, 120 feet up on this uh, high-pitched wall. You could you could just try to keep rowing. They might be able to follow you. You could uh, uh, hit the shore and try to get into cover. Or you could duck into the water and try to emerge somewhere else. They're 120 feet? Yeah, about. Where? Where? Up like, on the wall. Okay. Uh, up on the uh, up in the city, basically. Uh, uh, how high like up? 120 feet away. What I'm saying is, if I, I my wall of stone, it has a range of 120 feet. You you could you could wall of stone the area they are currently at. I want to put a wall of stone in front of them so that you, you could manage that. Anything. All right. They but they like they would they could just move to. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get at. Because uh, I'm trying to get well, an you idea could, of what You could is. entirely block their vision for upwards of, you know, like, 18 seconds. I don't think that's worth it. I think we just we take a chance and just row I'm further thinking, out. I'm row out of range of these guys and get away from them. I'll... I'll... I'll I'm gonna keep rowing and, uh, t until yeah. I hit shore line, and then I'll try to evade box as best as I could. So I'm getting conflict because Banana's saying he wants to instruct you to row out, and you're saying you want to row to shore well, line. Well, we're trying. Okay, I need a little bit more information here as far as where we're heading. You guys, you guys were heading towards it. the island, right? You yeah. you got off the boat, it. and the guy said, "Get to the island." You guys are heading to the island. Once you got within like you know, like, uh, 50 feet of the shoreline, you guys start to notice these mines about, which are clearly meant to, like, if a boarding party was crashing big boats into the shore, these would annihilate them. Right. Um, but so you guys are, like, 50 feet from the shore. Once you reach the shore, there's probably a, a 20 foot gap before it becomes, like, this large upwards wall, because the city is slightly raised above sea level. You can see the um, you could see, because some of it's lit, the um, the effects of weathering, the, the, of the water hitting the, the lower parts. There's barnacles growing on the lower parts of the wall. They are up on the on top of that wall on some sort of battlement. Uh, and they, they currently seem to have seen you, and uh, they, they would be having a light sort of pointing in your direction soon. You, so we are, have you are in open water. This is just an open water area. And and we're trying to go east. And is east? Is there another island, or is it east of this island? Uh, Romeo didn't specify. If you ask him in this moment, I he, will he ask. Just him. Says, um, mine, mine father. He's on the east or on the south side of the island, and going around the east is safer because the city doesn't extend the full way. But it all would right, still well, be, it would be tens of hours. We're caught. We got to go on land, and we got to make a land run for it. That was insane. Thou art we are. He points to the water. I, He's like, we could, I thou could dip below the waters and swim, just avoid the bombs. And is this boat or is this robo box long enough so that way, if if we if we all did get in the water, am I able to tip the boat over so that way it? It, it extends as we all like use it as a as a as a way to breathe underneath. Um, what is, you is you could you could, but wait, it, wait, it wait, would. Is, it she, would give is away she trying to do Jack the, Sparrow? Is what she's trying to argue? She, she wants to yeah she wants to flip it, it so it, that it you guys can have enough. your heads above water underneath it. Exactly. Um, yeah. But that would that would defeat the purpose of do going in the water is so that they don't know where you you come up. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, we okay. Then let's just keep rowing. Let's just keep rowing. Then and uh, I keep rowing. I keep rowing to the direction the party tells oh, me to well, row. Oh yeah, we're gonna keep rowing east in the water. Then we're not gonna go to land if that's what Romeo says. It's gonna be too dangerous. I mean, we have the option here to go to land uh, and, and make Romeo a run. Romeo is saying for go into the water and swim to land. He's saying come up somewhere they can't see you. Oh. Romeo's saying, oh, if you jump. try to go around this island, it's going to be 10 hours of them shooting at you. Oh, um, that's an impressive jump. Oh, but Romeo's water... Are you waterproof, Romeo? 
Romeo has been at the bottom of the ocean longer than you've been breathing. No, I mean, not that long, but <laughs> Romeo, his backstory is that he spent a bunch of time at the bottom of the ocean. And LT also spent a bunch of time at the bottom of the ocean. They they everyone... they seem to be fine. They just he's just gonna sink really quick. God damn it! Can everyone? Sw what? Oh, I would I would have picked I would have. Uh, can ever can everyone swim? Can everyone swim? <sighs> can you I swim? Knew it. It's only fitting. You can swim. Okay. <laughs> <Everybody> can swim. <laughs> yes. No. Okay. It's fine. All right. Uh, we I'm going to I'm going to grab Romeo and okay. I'm I'm gonna dimension door to land, uh, in a safe spot. All right. Wait. Um. You, you do. Do you want to be up in the city or down in the the sort of sludgy uh, like sand? I sludge? want to be where they can come to me. All so right. I'm, then you're down like, in the sl like the sludge. Yeah. From now on. Yeah. Yeah. Hugging the wall. The spotlight will have a infinitely harder time spotting you. Yes. Um, and even with their dark vision, they'd probably have to come down and like, like you know, go across the shore. They would have line. to come to us. So it, it being up against the wall is uh, entirely safe, especially with the fact that you could have just gone anywhere. You could have gone and done anything with that spell. They don't. They don't know what you're doing, and they don't exactly have a light on you yet. They have a a sort of idea in the darkness. They kind of they can see the mass that is your ship because it's the only thing out there. Um, so, Frack vanishes, uh, it, Amelia it and the, Aurora, it it's, it's dark, th but you guys, you, you see that sudden warp of magic, that spell, the doorway opening. Uh, Ishtar, do you want to tell them anything? Oh, he's be right back. Uh, I, I think Ishtar would say something along the lines of, Thrak just teleported off the ship. Okay. I don't, uh, no, 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 before no, no, no. I teleport, I'll say, meet me on the shore. Oh, let me go! Into the water! Yeah. Frederick. Frederick sighs and goes, my novel. And then he jumps in the water. I'll, I'll carry destroyed. it for you! Here, give it to me! It's destroyed. It's too late. Oh, <laughs> He's splashed right. down in the water. <laughs> oh, no. Jump into the water. All right. You just splash, it's splash, warmer ish. because of the steam, so, you know. It's... Yeah, the, the water here is actually very nice. Yeah. You're far enough away from the cloud that uh, there's just sort of this passive uh, warmth to it, but there is a weird smell to it all. Kind of oily. Maybe a, Oof. just a little bit oily. Oil, my boy. Oil. <laughs> yeah, oil. You're finally at that arc, you know, the Owen and the Oxhorn I'm arc. Going is oil. 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 Oh, oil. I didn't tell you the leader of the gnomes is actually Oxhorn. <laughs> This is, uh, my boy. This, is my, this is my legacy to Panda, right? <laughs> uh, as as the final one of you jumps down and you're under the water, holding your nose, uh, you watch the spotlight go across the top of the boat and uh, look over it. It seems to drift across the water's surface back and forth for a moment. And you can see the several glowing eyes of whatever is up on the wall um, begin to move on. The, your group um, swims to the, the shoreline. <gasps> Breaching. Amelia, for you, that sucked. Your oh. con is not very high, holding your breath. They, you were on the cusp. You... <gasps> it. <coughs> Am I not so bad in the first place? <sighs> but you, you find the shoreline, and you, um, even though you can't see him, you'd hear Thrak, you know, over I'm here, sure. right? But don't forget, I also swim faster than other people, too. That, that's true. Uh, you know, I'd say that's why you made it. Uh, behind you would be Aurora, since he's the next fastest. And then Ish, the two clerics come out, oh, both looking depressed. Uh, but now you are at the the base of this uh, sort of large, upright, um, metal-plated structure that leads into the city. Uh, looking down the way, you can see... Uh, these sort of street lights, but not lanterns. They're they're these bulbs of glowing, glowing uh, energy that let out a weird sort of noise constantly. You can see a stairway made out of a metal leading up to the city. You could join it proper. Frack. He said, "Come to shore." I don't see him. What? I'm right here. Oh. Thou art with us. We're here. I. I regret spending the past 
month working on this fucking book. Why did I think we wouldn't be in water? What 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 made me think that was a realistic possibility? <laughs> oh, I could have probably dimension doored with that. I'm sorry. No, it's, it's a little, uh, it was it's last fine. thing on my mind. It, it was it was garbage, anyways. Well, one man's trash is another's treasure. <laughs> uh. We need we need to get thou properly dressed. Dressed? I like my dress. He he reaches into his uh his bag and begins to root around it, pulling out Frack what Frack and Ishtar, what you can see look like a um, sort of party mask, but you realize e even in the sort of gray lighting that you see it in, they're metal. Right. You want me to wear that? He nods his head repeatedly. Okay. And he pulls out an extra small one and puts it over Mouth's face. You should... Mouth is now wearing a. It's kind of a. It's not a mask as much as it is a weird helmet that has like a beak structure at the end of it, like, like this kind of. You can see Mouth's eye right, right in here. Oh man! Like doctor's mask? No, no. Let me. Let me let me get a better drawing of it. Oh Because no. this isn't correct. It's it's kind of like um, kind of like uh, so it comes down like this. And then it goes back like this, you know, and then it has structure like this, and, and then the metal comes down like this, comes up oh. like this, then it has an eye hole right oh. here. Oh, wow. <laughs> With a stone oh, greatsword? <laughs> okay. It, it even comes down on the neck a tiny bit. So isn't it more a helmet then? Yes, yeah, yeah. he, he, Mouth is getting a, hell, a whole helmet. Wow. Yeah, he, seems, he seems to have one in mouth size. All right. Well, uh, what what he what then uh, takes to... out his instrument and goes, <laughs> and you feel a veil of shadow surround all of you, as if you are somehow more stealthy. All right. Almost as if you could pass anywhere without leaving a trace. Oh wow. What a spell. What a spell. I thought he was going to put seeming on us. No, right. nothing yet. Uh, okay. Well, time to stealth stealth carefully, everyone. Okay. Try not to... I guess uh, we do stealth checks, though, because we did a spell that affects stealth checks, right? So. Yes, yes. Uh, that's the idea. Let's go. Everybody put on we your mask. We have to get Val inside and find... A clothing shop where we will procure outfits illegally. <laughs> I know you have moral conundrums <laughs> against such things. You get a plus 10 to that, so that's a 20. 20. 24. Amelia is always quite stealthy. I did a really bad yeah. roll, but I have a good plus. Woo! Jesus, man. My rolls are terrible today, but 15. All right. None of you, uh, none of you can rolled poorly at all. Each of you has rolled oh, a thank God exemplarly, exemplarily, you know, exemplarly. I put away stuff. my metal gauntlets and my metal boots and I pull out my leather gauntlets and my leather <laughs> boots. <laughs> wow. Yes. Yes. And you, you, you put a, a little piece of gamison between every stud so that there's no bounds to them at all. You're utterly silent. All right. Um, do you guys want to head up the stairway through the city proper? Or, I'm following, um, calling Romeo. All right. Romeo, our guide here. Yep. He, he reaches the stair and begins to walk up, uh, peering over the edge. Given your height, Thrak, uh, I'll say you're next in line. You peer over the edge, and what you see is cobbled roads, beautifully cobbled roads with these nice sort of orange stone works uh, sidewalks with bricks laid these um metal metal short you know 11 foot towers with this glowing orb at the top of them to illuminate the streets and you can see um hell lots of ha buildings around beautiful buildings made out of bricks but there there's no uniqueness to each of them it doesn't say it might like the same carpenter made each of them they seem almost like carbon copies of one another 
Um, and most importantly, you see a lot of people made out of metal wearing very intricate suits. They they look high society. Oh wow! What the fuck? What are we doing here, Romeo? We we, we don't fit in at all. Once once they all have the outfit, it's simply a matter of playing the part. I think we're not going to be able to walk through here so carefully. You might be able to have to procure us the outfits. What? I don't know your size. I, uh, 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 I'm extra large. Extra, you are? extra, extra, extra large. I think you're a triple XL. I could be a triple X. <laughs> Aurora is probably a double. I'm just a single XL. Okay. Amelia is small. Amelia is extra small. Frederick what? and the call are mediums or so. Maybe okay. a lot. Now wait here. I will get you. I have to say, we're not going to bring it to the past. It's no saying. I, I can correct. come with it and I can mm -hmm. give them some of the gold so that way they get the payment and we didn't steal it and they got nothing. They, they, your gold's worth nothing here. Yeah? Tungsten? We have white tungsten. How much? Uh, how much do we have? 50 or so? I Is thought we have 50. Mm, that could get you a few outfits, but we need one, two. Mm, we're gonna be cutting it close. Are you Is sure you don't want me to just steal it? Then do you have? Th thou aren't really making it. These are the enemy. Let me right. remind you. You know what? Just just procure it however you can, Romeo. I trust you, okay? <laughs> He nods his we'll, head and uh, we'll, he goes. We'll pay him back uh, later, Amelia. We'll pay him back. We'll pay him back later. He, he goes running out into the city. Oh my god! Stealing the bad. Solari doesn't like it. Not stealing. We're just borrowing. Well, if we're just borrowing, then it's okay. Yeah, we'll bring it back. What do you want to keep it? I'm not going to keep it. I wouldn't. Absolutely not. <laughs> All right. Some minutes pass. Ten. 15. What's taking him so long? 20. Is he okay? Uh -oh. <laughs> 20 minutes. Oh, no. 20 minutes isn't too long. Uh, I'm going to have to send in Mouth. Mouth looks at you with his uh his prisoner mask. Oh my god, you're so fucking intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> Mouth, please. Alright. At the 20 minute mark, you would hear what sounds like sh 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 marching, a uniformed march. <gasps> Hide. Hide. Uh, ducking down, you would see, I need to grab, I need to find someone real quick. Oh, Where's no. that fucking prick? Oh, good, dude. Fucking character art, I love it. No, 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 not, not new. Warforged character. character art, Warforged character art, let's go. Uh, there he is. I needed to find this motherfucker. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we had ten of them. Oh wow, that's a lit Those army. Those are T ones. Yeah, they are T ones. Yeah, the light. They're, but they, they, you know, you, you, they're they're uh, T one. You're L one T units. You are friendly, free to from <laughs> the Druid Gold. <laughs> and they are being led by a very fancily dressed model. Much different than them. L two T. Oh, mm -mm. wow. Mm -hmm. Those are nice and look, look at this little owl. No, they oh, don't appear to be gnomes. You you haven't seen many gnomish sized robots at all yet. <laughs> you are the gnome. Okay, okay, gonna let it be. Oh my goodness. I. Uh, Conveniently, maybe. Almost too convenient. They, they seem to stop in front of the area you're in front of. And uh, he turns back to address the, T the L21Ts. <clears throat> Good sirs? The voice... The voice is gnomish, though. <laughs> the voice is clearly higher pitched of a smaller octave. We have an illegal in our midst. One of the rebels' creation. Your task is to search out and find him. Here's our, here's his image. He holds up a picture. Kind of looks like Romeo. 
<laughs> a little bit. <laughs> it seems slightly off. The, the big hat is there. That part's there. But it, it more resembles, like, I don't know, like this. Oh. It's just slightly <laughs> off from Romeo. <laughs> just slightly. Uh, uh. You know. I mean, pretty good. They don't look as clean I like. <laughs> you know, maybe you'll get away with it. They don't have it. his nose. I just... More importantly, oh. as you've been briefed, we have guest on the island. It's the first time in some time, if we recall. You search out and find them. We're told uh, four or so, maybe five, reached our shore. <laughs> As he says maybe five, Frederick goes, even they don't recognize me. It's okay, Frederick. You're very strong. Right, Frederick, I recognize you. You're cool. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> they are to be detained without harming them. Is that understood? They all salute. All right, spread out. Search the area. Leave no stone unturned. You have martial rights. Martial law was declared when their warship entered our harbor. So make sure you knock on every door. And they begin to fan out. He uh, he sort of idly stays about the area for a moment. And uh, then you would see from inside the city, from one of the rooftops, a flying metal creature <laughs> land on his shoulder and um, just let out a and it begins, his eyes flash several colors and he goes, mm hmm, yeah, no, well, we'll find him eventually. Now where they can hide here. And he begins to wander off, not knowing that a group of people is hiding right behind him. He's so stupid. Hey, don't, don't, oh, don't. Amelia, what did you do on that word? What? What are you talking about? Right, what did you, what did you learn that word? Uh, you can't just call people stupid. What are you talking about? Something. What's happening? You can't what? call people stupid. Wait, what, what? why? That's fine. He's not a person, to... he's a robot. What is it? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. I didn't I think say that anything. Trying to arrest about. us. Anyways, let's get going. We gotta go catch more. Uh, after you? after oh, they no. depart, you would see from an alleyway a trash can sort of roll out, and then the lid poof, pops up, and Romeo crawls out of it. Oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> he runs over. Where's the good? <laughs> Where's the good? <laughs> he he from below his cloak pulls out several outfits: one XXXL, one XL, uh, two two mediums, and one small. It's a little tight. <laughs> but now each of you are dressed like an aristocrat. You are well dressed. Top hats are the fashion. Is it like Victorian esque? Era, yes, though? it is. It is like a very Victorian. wide, wide like at the hips and like the little metal net, fresh net net nesh. Um, for frame. for women, yeah, it's very wide at the hips oh sort of look. For men, they they're wearing uh, oh, no. they're wearing long coats and have top hats. They have a uh, shoulder epa uh, epa not pauldrons but epita epilas or whatever. Uh, vest are very important. Corsets are also big for the women. Uh, metal chains for on the vest, <laughs> little pocket watches. You know, it's all all very good looking. I want a top hat. You you get one. Top hat is the main fashion. Do, does he get a cane, like a walking cane? No, he only stole clothing, not accessories. Damn. <laughs> Amelia, you look very nice. It's Amelia looks pretty. So do you. You're, you're well dressed. If not, just a bit too buff for this kind of attire. It's okay. All right. With your your metal mask, and he he purposely picked out clothes. He's not stupid. That would cover most of your skin. You you like gloves are given to you. Uh, higher gloves. The, there's large like high high rimmed boots or high trimmed boots. Um, you you guys are mostly covered. I'm so fancy, look. And she does a little twirl. Uh, if we can get, if thou can get us through the city, 
to the other side. We can enter the King's Path and find our way down to my father's home. I've never been here before, so I can't navigate it as well as... I mean, have you been here? Or is this the first time here as well? I... Thou mistake me if you think I haven't been in the city. I just... Not <laughs> often. I gotta take my pirate hat off. It doesn't matter. I mean, does it, does it have a sewer system? Does it have uh, underground pipelines for flushing out water or anything? I... Thou make a good inquiry the, the um, he it is very clear Romeo does not know a lot about the city I look around are there any like manholes you do not see grates? manholes no grate, and you anything? don't see any food establishments either okay um, any pipes or anything going underground or you see any? many pipes in the area but most seem to be exuding uh, steams heavy steams or, or clouds of of uh, thick smokes. Okay. Um, mm. Well, I mean, I, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't make everybody invisible. I mean, we have the pass without a trace. We're gonna have to stealth through this place, or uh, you know, hopefully nobody gets uh, any clues in your disguises play through. But there is a group of uh, of uh, soldiers looking for us. They're well aware of how many people are here, and they are well aware of you. Although they didn't have a great description of you, might want to lose the hat, Romeo. Mm. <laughs> he looks at you with a, a clear amount of perturb to his uh, expression, his barely expressionable face. Yeah, sorry. The hat's gotta go. The only thing I can do is become the mouse. That one's... And that's not good. Well, can you... Is, is that hat made of metal? <laughs> I touch it. <laughs> and it doesn't seem to be. It just seems to be part of his head. Uh... Okay. The vast material of it doesn't fe seem to be, but the, the part that is uh, around the base and then would be connected to his head up here is metal. Mm. Can you can you take off one of your uh, ribbons, Amelia, and possibly tie that hat <laughs> into a? Well, you would ruin my house. You could just be I mean, it's either ruin the hat or they make you. I no. That hat is that a dead one. giveaway, Romeo. There, I, I'm looking around. There is nobody around here with a hat like that. That is, a, that is an extravagant hat. No. Can't you just become the mouse? Why is there no mouse here? No. I don't see a lot of meat. Not any organics left in the city. Oh. All right, Ishtar, give me your top hat. Well, this, what they was, if there's no organics in the city and we're organic, then it doesn't matter. They'll see us. That's why you've gotten metal mask and outfits that cover all your skin. Oh, oh that makes sense. Yeah. Or Gucci. You, <laughs> you guys are Gucci at a distance. You are not <laughs> so great yeah. at close inspection. Uh, uh, we're fake. We're we're fake designer. You can uh. tuck that hat underneath the top hat. How about a top hat? Um, Come on. Uh, uh, Just. Uh, he. He, he very... He could cut the hat, I guess. I no. Mean. Thou uh, art making an enemy of me, I'm he not, says. I'm still giving, not gonna he, he grabs the, the sides of his hat and pushes them upwards. Mm. And then he he One grabs a, Come on. A, a bit of rope and ties it off and pulls it down. So now it looks yeah. like a weird cowboy hat with a, with a, yeah. with a long pointed top. Wow, yeah. see, that's, that's very... That's very fashionable. Mm -hmm. Look at you. It'll just be for a little bit, Romeo. Don't worry. All right. Uh, after that, do you guys want to progress into the city? We have no option. There's no place yeah, where we, we have can to. Meet, right? We're gonna have to act like we own the place. Mm -hmm. Everybody, we have to walk with purpose. I have much purpose. 
And mechanical. We have to walk mechanically. <laughs> I don't like Which won't these be hard shoes. for you, they Ishtar. Are very uncomfortable. <laughs> the shoes don't have a lot of give to them. It's almost like they're fit for a foot and like they don't they don't bend or rub against it too much. They're they... down on my toes and I don't like that. Alright, let's do the robot through this town. Oh, All right. Uh, okay, we keep our joints very 90 degrees. Yeah, stiff, stiff movements. I have a negative right. charisma. It's not looking too good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it's great. As you're uh, you're doing a robot walk, each of you doing your own variation of a robot <laughs> walk. Well, now uh, Romeo walks exceedingly normal <laughs> compared to everyone else. <laughs> you guys will see. The odd ones out. You're sort of, you're on the sidewalk, right? No, not, the middle of the road would be suicide. That's stupid. So you're on the sidewalk and uh, you're, you're sort of roaming by the street. So you can see uh, uh, in the windows, there there's uh, seems to be people inside of the buildings. Yeah, not people. I'm saying people loosely. There seems to be Warforged inside the building. Uh, all of them well-dressed. You can see that they, they don't all look u the same. You know, the, 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 these people are, you know, they have different modifications, different structures. You do see some shorter ones. You do see some gnome-sized ones, even inside of these houses. They're 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 living they're living normally, but as uh, as you're coming, you would see down the middle of the street, coming from a perpendicular way ahead of you, you would hear as this this little creature. Uh, I threw him way off the table. Uh. <laughs> This little creature pulls into the road ahead of you and then turns to see you guys. Whoa. Oh, whoa. It's that little cleaning robot from Wally. Uh, 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 do any of you speak gnomish? I do. All right, Thrak, you understand. He goes, um, guys, didn't you know there's a curfew going on? We're at war. Oh, my God, he's so cute. I unfortunately apologize for this. Do you know where the nearest inn might be? Inn? Wait, do you speak gnomish? Speak gnomish? Drown. Oh my wow. god, do we have two that speak gnomish? <laughs> why That's do you- crazy. Why does Mike's character Ishtar know gnomish? <laughs> what? <sighs> yes, I can take you to the inn. But listen. If I catch you out again, you're getting a citation for that. And I'm gonna expect to see you in court. You understand? My gears are killing me. Can I just... Right. Come on! <laughs> uh, no, I'll take you down to the cogwheel. Come on. <laughs> and he begins to roll. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine Fox like, holding his nose. Yeah, Guys. that's what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. right. You're rolling down the main street, and you pass a... Uh, as you're going by, you see two uh, L1 units. Um, one, they, they just sort of knock on a door, like they're... Poof, poof, open up! We're checking for any... And they act like you're just going by it, but they are going from door to door, looking at these people. <clears throat> so, Why? what brings you to the city? You newly made? No. Oh. Just uh, just came around to get ourselves some uh, new uh, new outfits, you know, uh, latest fashion and all. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering if you worked yourself out of the camp. You look, you look new. Well, don't get don't get too excited. I fell inside the water earlier today. That's why my joints are all rusted up. Ah, well, I hate I that. Get, no, don't you hate I, it when that happens? When you go <laughs> in the water? I, I don't I don't often go down that way, but I'm told the cog wheel has a uh, hot oil bath, so we can you can get that fixed up right away. All right, now we're talking. All right, he uh, he stops in front of um what looks like a big half circle of a cog wheel in the ground. Almost if it slammed into the ground here or something from an old explosion, right? A big half circle of a cog reel. It's real good. I sure hope Spark Tag Waggle or whatever it is is also available. And there's a door here. 
and it doesn't look like an inn. It looks kind of like a hotel. There's lots of floors. There's a there's like five floors of rooms. Yeah, All right, that's... you 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 rascals, get in there, and I better not see you out again tonight. All right, well you won't because we're gonna be bathing it up. Don't worry, I'm sure that the Supreme Leader will have an announcement tomorrow that this war is good and done with. <laughs> As is <laughs> always. <laughs> yep, hail be. Hail be. Oh <laughs> he rolls down the road away from you guys. <laughs> the fuck's going on? <laughs> what were you saying? It was sounding like Chipmunk speaking. Uh, no, oh, that's Gnomish. They speak Gnomish here. Bath. Yeah, we gotta be careful with that, but playing the part. <laughs> All right. This is gonna cost a lot of tungsten here. Stepping inside, I imagine. I don't think you. Or, or, or do you just walk away? Because you could just walk away from the end, too, right? He brings you here, but then he left you. You don't have to go in. Oh, shit. What do we do, Rob? Uh, we can't get out. There's a curfew. <laughs> Maybe a place to plug in. I don't know, Romeo. What do you think? What, what do you What do you believe? Uh, we now, risk being caught. Everything is a risk for us at this point. Oh, they're on high alert right now. Perhaps it could be safer tomorrow, though there are our plans could be doused if not if we don't act in time. They're going door to door to check for people. I, I, I don't think it's a good idea in my opinion. I think I mean if I were looking for somebody the first place I'd go to is the end. Right? Right. It just seems too obvious, but maybe. Do you want to? Well, want to do the we're end? Gonna, we're gonna have to vote as a group. What do you say? You're the smartest man here. Oh, thank you. I'm also the strongest. No, you're not. Uh, That's true. <gasps> no. He won the competition. Won uh, competition. Oh, that's right. He beat me and I beat you, so he's the strongest. Yep. Hmm. That's that's undisputed. But he didn't beat the champion. Yeah. And he didn't get the belt. Alright, let's all just talk about <laughs> something else. <laughs> Sorry to it. And I did beat the champion, and so did you. Amelia! Okay, let's <laughs> let's just calm down. Alright, Frederick, what are you thinking, man? Uh you're looking uh. pretty shoddy. Yeah. All right. So they are going door to door, but we've right. just been made aware that if we're seen out at all, they will try to apprehend us. Right. So either way, we're gambling. Hmm. Ishtar? We're caught outside, rooming more suspicion. There's a curfew on lockdown. If we stay in place, I feel the chance of getting caught is higher, but we need to find a place until day. Okay. Well, if we're gonna stay in here, we need to come up with gnomish names. So, you better start thinking. Uh. 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 Can't use our real names. I mean, I don't right, think there's I'm ever been a gnome I'm named going, Track. I'm going to use a name that's going to be Ishtar. And you use Amelia. And then you use Aurora. And you can use no. Track. And then no, you'll I'm be not. you'll be Mouth. <laughs> I should just No, that's all that's that's our real name. Yeah, but that's just that that mouth is you now, and then Aurora is now Ishtar, and I'm Ishtar. But then Frederick is now Romeo and Romeo. No, that's not how it works. It, it's got to be Gnomish. What's a Gnomish name? Uh, 
Uh. Whipper snapper. What? That, that, no. Is that that's, a good one? I'll be whipper. I'll be whipper. I'll be whipper. What about what about Poppy and Rumble and Tristana and, and Timo? Timo sounds great. Oh my god. <laughs> And I get, I, I, I get, I get <laughs> negative eight inspirations for, for my shrimp of hers, and she makes direct plagiarism <laughs> off of Riot. You said the word. It's all about, it's all about the amount that it happens, though. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's not you always that true. You could be Tivo. I'll oh, be Heimerdinger. Happened, now it's happened twice. Now you get disadvantage. No, yeah. no, no, no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just that shrimple. Right. Oh! oh, you threw one in there. So, you guys are still standing in front of the, the <laughs> hotel. We, we go inside. Before we get we need a move. We need a move. Right. You, you step inside. All right. And uh, it is well lit inside. There's these brass tubes going up the way. Uh, of the building, there's a sort of fountain in the middle, and the water looks cleaner than the water you guys are dealing with out there. Uh, behind the desk, you can see a well-dressed Warforge. Let me... I don't know. Let's grab him. Uh, spinning green vials of liquid. They seem to be bright, glowing, perhaps radioactive, a word you guys don't know. But I... He, he looks over at the group of you, and then his face is a skull. Yes. Yeah, I don't like that. that. Looks cool. Oh. I can't speak because uh. I don't know Nomish. Welcome to the Cogwheel. How can I help you? Yes. Uh, we're gonna need uh, uh, what is it? Uh, two rooms, please. Ah, two rooms. That'll be thirty tungsten. One room. Babe. Oh no, we don't <laughs> have the currency. Uh, Fifteen oh tungsten, then. Very oh. good. Does that come with one of those delicious oil baths that I've been hearing about? That's an extra five tungsten. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa, whoa! I heard it was included. What's this? All these extra charges about? What are you, poor, fresh out of the cabs? Uh, pretty <laughs> much. Well, 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 such hey, a... Perhaps you should go to an establishment downtown. Uh, uh, oh, 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 uh, calm down here. Calm down. We're just trying to. We're patient. I know. Yeah, we I mean, have a just a strict policy, and he taps a sign on the front of his desk uh -oh. that says, uh, "No camp dwellers." Oh, whoa! What is this? Yeah. <laughs> the audacity. Well, I mean, I'm no longer a camp dweller. Yes, but <laughs> we hold ourselves I... to a certain level that. You debtors aren't really allowed oh. here. All right. Oh. All right, buddy. <laughs> Let's all calm it down. We got off on the rock foot, all right? We got the touch, oh. right? Oh, do we? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to look for a deal. Uh, <laughs> you know, I think you'll need to show me your citizenry before I go any further with this. Uh, Romeo <laughs> actually steps forward and hands him something. Oh, uh, come on. All right. Not a... Very well. It's 15 for the room, and five more if you want the oil bath. That's not a deal at all! That's the same... Okay. There is no deal to be had here. Oh, oh man. <laughs> this cog's wheel, man. I don't know. Then find somewhere else. Okay, I okay. Everybody, hold on. We we have to hold on. We're, we we got to input the data here. <laughs> Romeo just looks at you like, "Doth thou think I speak like this?" All right. <laughs> All right, everybody. Easter has How now. much? How much? How much tungsten do we have? We're gathered in a circle. Our heads are pulled in. Yeah. It's a dog yeah. pile. Uh -huh. I, I need to be right back, guys. Sorry. Do we have any tungsten? What are you saying? What was that talk? I don't understand what's going on. I had to come up. Uh, uh, the cost here is 15 tungsten. How much tungsten five do we have? Five oil bath. We're not doing oil. So we don't need oil. I'm interested in oil, man. It's going uh, to burn. Yeah, do we even have that right. money? 
I don't know. Ishtar. How much do we have? Ishtar? We don't have tungsten. We don't have what? We don't have tungsten. I Why thought you had so the tungsten. Quiet? I don't know. Right here. Uh, okay. you don't have the tungsten? We don't have the tungsten. We have the white. I literally I can't hear him. Different. I, hold he's on. saying we don't have tungsten. That's what he's saying. So, we'll have to figure out if it's... diff. Romeo! Oh, wait, he's not here. Wait. You don't- you don't have the tungsten? You have, like, 30 tungsten. I have white tungsten, I only have regular tungsten. So white tungsten might be more than a regular tungsten. We don't know the currency exchange yet. So I'll have to ask Romeo whenever box. It's probably the same. It's all it's all white tungsten tungsten's all the same probably. Oh, or it could be white tungsten could be a plat and regular tungsten could be gold. Probably not. Could be. Oh, Which then because then technically that's like like half of what we have already. Alright, well while we're waiting on box. Is your microphone like a mile away? What the heck is going on? It's right here. Oh, okay. better. I'll, I'll turn you up a little. I have a max, max, two hundred percent. I actually me, have to turn me... the music off. I can't hear him over the music. I'm gonna turn you up, Mike. Hello. All right, I got you at two hundred percent. Hello. It's a little better. Hello. You are a little low, but I'm leaning back a little bit, but it's like. Oh, that's better. Double inches. Clean back. I'm also not, like, yelling. Ye yelling into the mic, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. I think we just kill it and take a room for ourselves. Aha! Oh my god. <laughs> but the bar, the cool. DM's not here, so he'll never know I said that. He, he has his headphones on. This is the Mael version of Amelia, by the way. We kill, we plunder, uh -huh. we steal. Wow. Well, I can't wait for that part. Anyways. Alright, so we need to know something, damn. Mm -hmm. Mike can has the honors. Yeah. Uh, Romeo? Mm hmm. Is there a difference between white tungsten and then regular tungsten? He turns oh, his head God. side to side. Shit. I got money. Alright, I hand the 15 white, but then not really white plate or the platinum, but not really platinum. White. white tungsten. White tungsten. Alright. We'll, we'll, right. we'll hold off on the bath, buddy. Shoot yourself. We got the best oil in town. That's what yeah. I hear, but we're not going to be able to taste it because, you know. Have you ever learned to shut your mouth? Uh, as you're having this conversation, you would hear the doors <laughs> open behind you. <laughs> Whoa! God damn. Uh, you haven't handed over the tungsten quite yet. You're about to. You're at the front desk, about to hand it to him when the doors swing open. Oh, and you hear, you? holy shit, this guy's cool looking. You hear, ching, ching, as uh, a figure steps in the door. I step uh, aside. This guy uh, looks he, important. Yeah, he, he's important, all right. Is that his Sherman? Eyes, or is it Eagle? His eyes scan the room. He reaches to his neck, and Amelia, you're the only person who hears, I've got the target in my sight. Oh no! <gasps> and as he oh, says that, he looking at? he's looking at Romeo. <gasps> I'm um, going to step Amelia, in Amelia, you're the only, the only person who can react before something I'm happens. I'm going to step forward and get in front of Romeo before he blasts our robot. All right, everyone else is, you know, aware of his presence because he, he pushed open the door. But, uh, Amelia, you step in front and you watch as so the, one of his, the, these sort of rotating things in his... What? Yeah, you, you can't hear it because it's fucking mental communication. I, I could hear that. How? 
No, <laughs> quiet you. You watch as uh, one of his uh, the heel and his metal feet sort of twist and dig into the ground slightly, as if bracing himself for something. And then all of you feel a strange pull to your metallic belongings towards the doorway. What do you guys try to hold on to? Romeo! The desk. It's... Alright, Romeo, the desk. Hey, Aurora, what are you trying to... Head. What what uh, metallic belonging of yours are you trying to keep right now? Oh, we were trying to do it. Oh, yes, I'm asking you. Oh, there's a, a large magnet and magnetic force oh, no! pulling everyone. Um, what metallic object are you trying to keep from going towards the the, the magnet? I think what? <laughs> right. Well, I I don't have any metal on me other than uh, my gold. What about your gun and your tinkerer's kit? Your box is getting pulled in his direction. Oh, that was a gift. <laughs> oh my god. Put a black skull marbles hit him and go off. <laughs> uh, they might hit whatever's pulling. It's n probably not him. Uh, Amelia can confirm that since he did something to brace himself for the effect that was about to happen. What's, what's going on? Uh, I just want to know what... What piece of metal everyone I, immediately I, I tries gotta to grab? Hold on. I gotta go hold on to my fucking mask. <laughs> the mask? Yeah. <laughs> a great, a great first piece. All I'm right. Let mask fall off. And then I'm gonna need strength, strength checks. Not the athletic strength checks from each of you. Why am I doing a strength when my athletics is better, DM? Because I'm holding on to a person like a grapple. No, this is a strength. Jesus. I, don't, I don't like this. Why is Just she like a, a plus eight in strength, sweet? I have a plus four. Fifteen. I think I'm a plus zero now, right? Yeah, I'm a plus freaking zero. How'd you get a fifteen with a, a six? Because um, I only I added the I, oh wait I rolled a six. Yeah, you rolled a six. Plus no, I four. added. I forgot to add the plus one from the luck stone. That's why. Okay. So but that plus that, eight is a plus nine. No, it's but not. No, it's not. You, you're only adding your what? strength. This isn't a, a check oh, you have proficiency in. Oh, oh, I thought in. this was a saving throw. Oh, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. So you have a plus five. So you did eleven. You could rage to gain advantage if you want. God, I don't want to rage. She can't do that. Not on this. I am not raging. Okay. It's, it's still up. It's still an eleven, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, we all failed except for. Yeah. Did you all fail? All oh, no. It's all right. I have a fourteen. Right. What are you talking about? That's all right. I don't know. Amelia, <laughs> your from your hip rips off the four chakrams. <laughs> and and, and I use a sword. And Anais' sword and the gun. And then and then my Solaris holy symbol that was metal not And any any gold you have goes flying out. Uh some of it caught hitting this guy. He's like he crosses his arms over himself <laughs> as something's hit against him. Uh what? not the best plan. He he didn't expect so much stuff to come flying off you guys, it seems. Um and Does my ring get ripped off? No. No. That that thing that you're sort of like directly wearing like that is safe like if you had a, a circlet on you'd be hurting your neck but it's not gonna rip it off your fucking dome oh oh so it wouldn't are so the mask the mask would... are you know they're questionable it will I'll, I, you know i'll allow you to pick a new object i'll say the mask are safe oh my 1400 gold probably <laughs> all right you're trying to hold your gold pouch with the uh <laughs> with the five you rolled <laughs> Okay. I, I don't want this guy to get hit like a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> he gets lit up. Uh, but as you're trying to hold on, you're you're stepping your footing. Uh, the ca the cashier behind you goes ah! as he goes flying 
smashes through the front door and connects yeah, to a massive that, magnet at the front. That's what you get. Uh, Poor but guy. also, Aurora's sword, you lose the grip on. It goes spiraling no! out. Amelia, you lose your grip on Romeo. No! Who reaches out and goes flying. Doesn't he have a chance Thrash. to grab onto me? What's his saving throw? A no, saving I gave track. it to you. Yeah. <laughs> grab onto my hand! Grab onto my hand! You're, you're holding your coin pouch firm, but the bottom of it rips open and coins go fly in that direction. Ugh. And Ishtar, you're able to keep your shield and your grip tight. Got all the coins go go, go away. Uh, I'll I'll say a, a chunk of them did because once Romeo goes flying and hits the magnet, uh, the power seems to dim a lot more. But it's keeping him and the clerk there, and it looks and you watch as the vehicle suddenly <laughs> and starts to drive away. He's just oh. immediately running. Not no. This guy's standing before you all. The vehicle is leaving. Wait. So Romeo got shot out of the entire building towards the the. Yeah, to the big magnet, which is on the vehicle. I'm going can to I, immediately this... run after that. Yeah. Can I? Can I go outside? Can I? You you guys want to try to run by the the gunman here Absolutely and go outside? Us. Okay. I will need initiatives then. Oh no. Okay. We gotta save Romeo. Okay. And we don't have any other reactions to that, right? Uh, no, no. It, it's you. You. You are. You couldn't cast a spell in that moment because you can't pull out your your focus, your holy focus, or whatever. You, you're holding on to it. You're yeah. You're you're gripping it with both hands. You can't motion your hands and say the words in that moment too to cast a spell. My sword. Are right. we doing initiatives? Right. Oh, don't worry. Your sword is just outside the building. The the power oh. dimmed when it caught the two, or when it caught the one it was after. Uh, it, it just seemed to be strong okay. enough to hold him. Him. Okay. Your sword is just on the ground in the street, basically. <laughs> they didn't care about keeping that. Okay, where he goes. Nice. Going to kill some raw forge right now. Man, you rolled. Y'all oh. rolled exceedingly low. I did roll low. Dude, I had I had all day I haven't rolled above like uh I think I only rolled one time a fourteen. That was when I had advantage. Do you My have rolls a are not good right now. Um Ishtar? Do you have a higher dex than me? Yes. Okay. Look at this guy's I'll just, art. I'll just put it, myself underneath. DTW is so office. fucking jealous right now. Oh. <laughs> DTW would be uh, ripping these so guys apart, taking their arms jealous. and legs, and using their guns. So fucking jealous right now, I think. Okay. So, at the beginning of the combat, as once the magnet turns off and you're not being tugged in any direction and are having your stuff ripped off of you, um, it goes, he, he raises his gun and points it in all of your directions. Amelia and, is just uh, instinctively moving forward towards him. It does not look like she's yep. being friendly about it, so he can take a shot at her 100%. Oh yeah, he, he might. But first and foremost, he, uh, he aims at the floor and fires several uh, blasts in the area and turns uh, turns this whole area in front of you into a jagged, spiky area of cow traps. What's this room like? It's we're in a hallway, right? Right in the front of like the. You're in a main a main sort of auditorium esque thing. Let me let me uh, let me get it out for you. So we, were, oh, oh. we were talking to like the main barkeep or like the, uh, you know in. So like I figured there'd be like a counter in front of us and the doors like you know ten feet behind us, but I don't know. Ten feet? No, it's a he. I said there's a fountain in this area. This is a. It's like a big grand sort of entrance. It's a oh. big hotel lobby. There, there's not a barkeep. There's a hotel like concierge there. This guy, the, the little man, took you to like the high end. Here. 
and then there would be the door, door for if you purchased rooms on either side. Where's the, uh, where's the innkeeper's art? What happened to his token? He got ripped out by the magnet thing. Oh. It just ripped into the entire, like, that thing's like 80 feet away and it still did that? Yeah, it ripped out How all the How effing powerful is that magnet? Extraordinarily, but you're in a world with magic that can teleport people 120 feet. Oh my gosh, I am going to bust this guy up. Is that like a spike ground there? Is it's like yeah, it's a it's a bunch of jagged cow trip or cow traps. Okay. Um, you might believe the terrain to be difficult, and if only you couldn't run along the wall. That's but, exactly what I'm planning on doing. But, uh, he he does that seemingly before combat begins. Just on the, the first action of initiation. And then he goes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And he raises his hand and launches a small cable to the back of something and gets pulled this direction. All right. Amelia! Uh, uh, 5, 10, 15, run on wall, uh, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, that's my normal move speed currently. Alright, I'm going to dash with my action, 1, 2, 3, huh, I'm outside, 4, I All have right. another. Uh, he, he would be... Five, two. Five, I think. He's about 40 feet away from you. Uh, you, you can see he's got a he's got this cable attached to the back of the, the tr uh, big truck Where's that Romeo? is about 30 feet ahead of him. Where's Romeo? Where's Romeo? 30 feet ahead. Romeo's about 35 to f yeah 35 feet ahead of him on a big magnet going. Oh, uh, must get me out of here! All right, so he's he is 30 feet away from him. You said? Yeah, he's he's got one arm out, which is attached by a cable to a thing gripping onto the back of the truck and his feet seem to be able to just slide across the floor. Sure. All right, so I will then use my key to uh, step with the wind and then go another 45 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, which I think is 30 to 30 feet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so I'm, I'm on, I'm, I, I reach out and grab on the, well, I can't grab him with my, I don't have an action anymore, right? But I, yeah, I want to get next to Romeo. You're sprinting behind the truck right now. Yeah, I run up. So, like, she lifted up her Victorian-esque dress, and she's uh, so she doesn't <laughs> yes. on it. And then, right. with heels, runs on the wall, and then out the door. Yes, all in heels, looking great. All right, it goes to uh, Aurora or Ishtar. Ishtar first, because he has a heart. It hurts you. It hurts you. <laughs> every step, every five feet you take hurts you. It's, it's a very low level spell, but this one might be upcasted. Spike rope, remember that. And remember, this is difficult terrain. Yep. Okay, so you moved one, two, three, four, five spots in here. You could jump. You could have long, uh, long jump too to get a little bit further. I don't have strength. Oh, All right, give me, give me one moment. You take forty-six points of piercing damage. Holy he moved Low five space. Yeah, you moved five space. It, it does two at level one. It does two d four per space you move. Yikes. Are you all right? I'm still uh, bleeding, loosely, in my metal boots on the floor. <laughs> no, you put on your leather boots, remember? <laughs> you got outfits! <laughs> like, it's like Marv. Are you? <laughs> it's like Marv. Oh, Aurora, Aurora, you, Aurora, you watched as these cow trips seem to just sh shred through his attire, oh. and he is bloody. They did a lot of damage to him. <laughs> Look at Stephanie on Legos. Hey. But Aurora, you have a lot of strength. You, this... you could jump. That's you what I was Aurora. thinking. This is the bar, right? It's the front desk. It's the sign-in yeah. desk. 
Can do I get it. a running start and try to jump over it? Yeah, you do have the necessary 10 feet, uh, but I believe your long jump is about 20 feet. So you could theoretically avoid all of these squares and only take the one square of damage. It's, it's the long okay. jump equals her strength I score. <laughs> if she has yeah, a 19, which is, I think. is 19. When I'm, I'm Nine, rounding it to allow uh, to allow the 20, oh, yeah, like normally the 24. You have to round off of it, right? But okay, you're being gracious. To her. Cool, cool, cool. It's so close. I, it yeah, feels yeah, like fair, shit fair, to go down. I mean, that's technically giving her one G, but that's if you're doing it, you're doing it. So cool, 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 cool. Means. Yeah. So you you could avoid yeah. you would run you would run the 10 feet necessary, which would be yes. these two, and then you would leap then all the way go. to this square. Okay, so then I. <gasps> But then well, moving she, off she this would one would take you the damage. Right? She'd be on this square what? here. Wouldn't it be 5, 10, 15, 20? Yeah, and oh, she's yeah, 20, landing sorry. on that square. Is what so there, you land there. Okay. And then now it's difficult terrain, so yes. I would have used the 10 feet of movement, so I still have enough movement to get out. You would you would need oh, to get here? It would cost you more. She still, has 10, she still has 10 feet remaining right now, so she would have these five of it to move forward one space with just her movement right now. She'll take the damage, we're moving out, this bit. and then... Uh, no, away. you couldn't get out, because to move here would cost you 10. It's difficult to raise. You could dash now with oh. your action, and then you get out. I have 40 movement speed. Yeah, and you... Oh, it's 10, it's 10, it's 10, yeah, yeah, yeah. Out! Um... If you, if you want to move, you couldn't just not move and then jump on your next turn, potentially. But that would that would set you very far behind anything no, else I'm happening. Gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll take the damage moving the first space, and then I will, I'll, I'll dash out all forty, or well, thirty now, or right. to pick up, picking up my sword. Are you gonna make it as a free action? Uh, uh yeah. Just to pick it up, and then that's you take it. nine piercing damage. By the way. Okay. Let me. Interact. Free action. Yeah, sure. It can be an interacting with an object, whatever. Okay, and then I run towards my sword wherever it is, and I just pick it up and I just stand there in place. Okay. There you go. Are you on top of him right now? No, she's sprinting behind the truck. I How far away is the truck? Okay. The truck from the front door is, um, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's about 60 feet away. 60 feet to the truck? Yes. Shit. Why is Amelia so far ahead of it? She, uh, she, because this guy isn't on the truck, he's dangling, uh, from a cable on the back, but his feet seem to be able to, seem to roll along the, the, uh, the stonework. She ran up to the truck, because she's not trying to stop him, she's trying to rescue Romeo. Oh, so Amelia is on the truck right now. She's behind it. She's. Well, she's I mean, like, but I'm. I'm just saying, like, where that's she is is right. around where the truck is. Yeah. Okay. What is your plan? Oh, it's oh, Frederick's it's, turn. It's not my turn. Right. Uh, Frederick is going to do 5, 10. Well, you can actually be 5 feet forward, actually. I can? Yeah, you have. You actually have a 5. I'm counting it. You have five. You have an extra 5 feet move you want. Okay. That's it, then. Thank you. Um, Frederick is going to... <laughs> You'll uh, ish -tar. <laughs> He'd have to shred himself to do it. He's a, <laughs> he's a touch healer. Frederick is going to actually. I, I'll find another exit. 5, 10, yeah. 15, 20. <laughs> kicks open this door. 25, 30. And then he's dashing down this hall. He doesn't know if he'll find an exit. Just calm the hell down. Alright, now it's your turn, Frederick. Alright, well, this is a bonus action. I'm going to summon uh rock within 60 feet of myself 
so he's going to be here. And then through Brock, I'm going to cast Vortex Warp on Romeo. Alright. And I'm going to pull him behind me. Okay. You grip him out, and uh, you feel him oh. hug you from behind. He says, Thou art my hero! Run into the doors and hide! Alright, is that the end of your turn? Ah, uh, I gotta help them out there now too, so I'm late. That's all my, that's all I'm doing here. I'm not okay. gonna move the cow drops. Uh, that, I'm looking over in the call. Ouch! That's it. Okay. Um... As, uh, as the ground comes to an end, the vehicle pulls another 60 feet forward now that it's in full drift. And that yanks this guy flying past you about 30 feet, Emilio. There's none of, none of other possessions, right? We're on the magnet. It only grabbed Romeo, right? That's a lot of my and gold. There's also the owner of the establishment. Or yeah, <laughs> whatever. but like, so <laughs> my, my, uh, my chakrams and that stuff are not on it, right? Yeah, yeah, it, it didn't seem to... Once it got Romeo, it, the, the power dwindled enough to where those things came off. It seemed to be focused on then locking Romeo I mean, and the other person right. to it. I can't make an opportunity attack against him anyway. No, because he's, he's being to, dragged. Yeah, yeah. So, but I'll just, like, I'll watch him coldly go, like, right over her shoulder and just, like, stare at him as he goes by. Yes. All right. At, uh, at the end of his 60 feet, 30 feet away from you, uh, he lets the cable go, and you watch as he just hits the ground, rolls like, <laughs> and hits a wall with a big bang, <laughs> but just seems to walk out fine. Oh no, Terminator! <laughs> um, hmm, how how far is your range, Amelia? I have a thirty foot telekinetic. On the range. hearing thing. Thirty feet. All right, and he, he did slot. He was a few feet behind you. He was thirty feet behind you. Yes, so I guess you, you, would, me, so you, you would hear this. 60, you, you, yeah, okay. Yeah, you would hear this. All right. He reaches up towards his neck, and he just says, "The targets in the hotel, and these ones are strong." <laughs> At that point, you watch as he becomes invisible. He could still be there. Yeah, he could. But for now, combat is coming to an end. Um, after about uh, a minute, you watch all these cow traps just <laughs> explode, just <laughs> into harmless debris. She took 46 damage from nothing. <laughs> Oh my god, what a trooper. <laughs> I love but, how I did the damage after he ran through it. I I mean, I... That was I, good. I, I kept saying they hurt you. I, I was gonna roll it, but he just kept going. <laughs> um, but yeah, that happens after a minute. Um, and you guys, you quickly reconvene your ear, because this is still a moment. And Amelia, you know that more people are aware of your current location. Yeah, I, I, immediately on her next turn, right during that minute, she <laughs> would run back because uh, she would have done frack teleport, right? So yep. ran back to the to the inn, uh, and then like all along the way, he, like yelling through uh, Morris' head that like there more are coming, um, and that uh, go back into the hotel, right? Um, and then we run this. Ah! I, I oh. found an, an exit through the back. It goes into the alleyways. Mola, Mola coming! Mola coming! He's, uh, he's gone to invisible, and the 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 the, 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 wa the, the way, wagon is already moved on. But he's totally they don't. Bloody, oh no. They don't know our abilities, but they could hear us. Let's keep things like that a, a mystery for now. That's right. I'll lead the way. Right. Uh, 
if, if Ishtar doesn't heal himself, when he runs by, Frederick would put his hand on him and heal him. Because Frederick's a good man. Nicole, are you okay? Nicole? I'm much to get healed. 30. <laughs> you get healed 30 hit points. What the f- He, uh, he upcasted, uh, cure wounds by a few levels. Two levels. All right, Thrak, uh, running through, you um, you find this uh, the a uh, sign uh, or a door with this exit sign on it, right next to the stairs in the utility closet. The utility closet door is currently open, and you can see a, a massive sort of boiler uh, oozing this black liquid, the the hot oil for the bass. Oh, we can't stay in the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks tempting. A, a check to see if I hear someone watching or listening to us. It's um, yeah, with, you know, with Thrax eye, there doesn't appear to be any around, and things are quiet now. Um, Thrax, you push out the back door and you begin to run down the alleyways. You can hear uh, out front uh, a, vo a familiar sort of voice. Uh, Everyone, fan out! The fugitive is here. Out, out the front of the building, and then you can hear another voice that says, My shop is ruined! This oh, is the fucking con wheel, alright? It's a high-end <laughs> establishment! <laughs> and uh, another voice goes, Sir, this is martial law. Return to your, your establishment and await further orders. But you guys are pressing, uh, running, uh, but the city is just so massive there, there there doesn't seem to be a direction that comes to an end of it it's like being in times square that just keeps opening up to more times squares it's annoying even is there a is there a high location where we can get an advantage point yeah yeah you you can you can see there is a bit of an incline to the city and as cool. you're um as you're running about the city you would see um you would see a building um, up, up, a, up a bit of a bit of a walkway. It has, it has greenery. This is that's something you don't often see. It has greenery, well-trimmed hedges, maybe artificial, but taken care of. And the door swings open, and you see a tall figure wearing garb similar to everyone else. Uh, motion over here, organics, with me. Oh shit! Come on. <laughs> Do you obey Come him? Here. Do you obey him, or do you uh, continue what's, running? What's, Insight what's, check. Romeo, <laughs> what's Romeo saying? What's Romeo? Minus saying? two. Uh, Romeo looks confused. He's never seen this man before. I'm going to trust him. I trust him. Oh you're, shit! You're running in. Um. Insight. He is. He is, as most Warforts, nearly impossible to read. <laughs> they have no emotional facial tells. It's only in the tone of their voice that you can truly what was, gain anything What was the from tone them. of organics? Was it a disgusting and, organic? And this is the first time you've heard him speak. But uh, from the tone of it, there, there was some level of of pleading to it. Amelia Concern. has Amelia thrust him and goes. All right, all right we, we have no choice. We go in. Well, you could just run. You could no. move through the no. city. For... Uh, it's too sprawling. Just the non-organic right. one. <laughs> Don't you agree? Nicole, Ishtar, everybody, no, we'll go running. in. No, he's already running over there. No real all choice. right, you, you run in. Uh, most of you follow, I assume. You all follow. Uh, you step inside, uh -huh. and he closes the door behind you, and you are... You are made privy to a beautiful manor. This is high end. The floor is seen marbled. There's a, a sort of chest tile pattern where black and black meets white squares. Uh, the walls have a, a lovely red with a golden sort of tri uh, diamond pattern on them. Uh, alarmingly, maybe to some, the walls are also mounted no. with several no. kills, like uh, old, like big game. Horns, uh, heads of large creatures. Some of them, a lot of them, look uh, aquatic. It's a man. Yeah, it's definitely a mansion. Uh, and something that your eyes are all immediately drawn to 
is at the peak of the stairway that uh, is in the center of this grand hall is a devil bound in chains with runes going up and down them uh, stuck oh, to the wall. Oh. And uh, as um, as you, the last of you gets in, he closes the door. <clears throat> so glad you could make it, my dear organic friend. And who the fuck are thou? Romeo says, <laughs> wasting no time with this. My name is <clears throat> Hillian Cogsworth. I am the leader of the resistance in this town. Uh, hi, I'm Amelia. Wait, I know is he speaking gnomish? <laughs> no, he's speaking common. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm and... Amelia. Oh, hello. So you know the bigs? <laughs> Do I know the bigs? Sir, everyone in this town knows the bigs. Now, are you referring to the tyrant or the genius? That's the important question. The genius, I, I would assume. <laughs> yes, I'm aware of Mr. Biggs. Can you, take, can you take us to him? I intend to, I intend to. I have a bit of an underground pathway you'll be taking. Just I'm under not... my establishment. Uh, have you heard of a Cogsworth, Romeo? I'm whispering. Mm -hmm. Um... And resistance names were heavily hidden for obvious reasons. I don't even know who was working with my father too well. Now, oh, uh, as new as I am to this, you seem on edge. I imagine it wasn't an easy night. Or is it the devil? A oh, damnable thing? Go on, you can prod it with a knife if you'd like. No, 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 let's not do that. Um, okay. Hi! Uh, from outside, you hear... Wait, what would you all please get in, uh, just off to the side? Yeah. There's yeah. a lovely lounge there. Oh, sure. Of course. Thank you. So there's a real devil there? Yes, it is chained up against what it, and it seems devil? conscious. It looks like a cambion. Okay. Holy shit! I'll go. Uh, I'll You're go, gonna go talk stab to it? it. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, oh no! Wait a minute. We don't want the devils to know where we are. Shit. Yeah, but this one might. This one could have been trapped here for a very long time. So Ooh. maybe we should talk to it. We also are in incognito with our disguises now, so we don't look like our normal selves. Okay. That. Would you like to talk to the devil? Absolutely not. Let's avoid it. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Devil. The... What are you doing? Uh, right now, it's not safe to talk to him because he's in direct view of the front Oh, door. okay. Then we because he's right. The main stairway is like sort of this grand thing right up the middle. But uh, you step into the side. You're in within earshot as he opens the door, and they go, uh, Sir Cogsworth. Um, we hate to disturb you at this hour. I'm sorry, Sir Cogsworth. We hate to disturb you at this hour. <laughs> But we have a word of fugitives in the area. You wouldn't have happened to see anything, would you? <laughs> have I seen anything? Of course I've seen everything. Why wouldn't they come to the grandest manor in the area with this lively greenery? So you're saying they're inside? That was sarcasm, buffoon. No, I haven't seen anything here. Now, don't bother me any further. And then he closes the door. Man, this guy's got some pull. Uh, so then. Where were we? Yes, introduction. Amelia, pleasure to meet you. I will, I will do a curtsy in my Victorian ask to ask. Look how well dressed you are. That's not the norm for you, organic. We just got uh, it. It's Romeo's selection. <laughs> it's, a, it's the Romeo selection. That's the brand name. Hey. <laughs> uh, my name is. Oh God. Thrak. Thrak. I am an orc. Yes, that. 
that rings true of the dunes. Uh, <laughs> yep. not, not my cup of tea. But... Uh, to each their own. <laughs> and Romeo, he points at Romeo. That's your name. You. <laughs> yes, you. You. You're, yeah, you're something, aren't you? How about the rest of you? I'm, uh, Frederick. Aurora. All such interesting names from such far-off lands. We'll have to connect once this is all over. You know, rebellions, they don't happen overnight. No, they Would don't. you like somewhere to stay? I have plenty of guest room. Uh... We it's... would like to get to Biggs as quickly as possible. Uh, you seem to know a lot. Uh, could you check upon the status of our ship that we came in? <laughs> there, there's some things even out of my purview. Uh, uh, military, uh, and, you know, goings on. If they come to my property, I can tell them to fuck off, lest they never want any power drawn to them again. But military is just out of reach. I see. Oh, all right. I hope they're well, all let's, right. Um, let's retire to my study. I hate standing and talking. It never, never does my joints any good. They're going to rust. It's right. a fancy place, right? It's like chandeliers and yes, beautiful yes, it's art lovely. and decor and stuff, right? Uh, uh, less art and more of trophies. There, there's a lot of like antlers and uh, pelts and some, large kraken heads. Are, so are, there, are there like like you know talons and stuff like on like you know? smaller smaller trophies too or are they only like this big kills plastered on the wall uh there's some smaller stuff I, yeah i guess there'd be smaller things what's the planimal pelt i'm gonna look down into its face and try to figure out what time the it is it seems to be some sort of panther but its fur seems oddly smooth at portions and almost almost reptilian it's a weird creature wow wow right uh, so he he uh, he heads up the stairs, and as he walks past the devil, he sort of grabs him by the chin and shakes his head. And he goes, "You going to greet our guest, or remain a big silent crybaby? Come now, say something to them. You were filled with such bravado when we met." <laughs> and he exits the room. Walk past them and not say anything. As you walk past the devil. Amelia, you hear, he utters, You're in more danger here than me. He says out loud or in my head? To you, because this guy already walked by. He's, he's walked uh, through a doorway and he's going down another hall. Uh, 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 I'm going to keep walking. Walking, walking, walking. <laughs> All right. Thrak, <laughs> as you approach the devil and Amelia... You would hear this, too, because you're within 30 feet. In your head, Thrak, you hear, you have to kill that thing. Must it be a threat to your job? They don't know you're here yet. They don't know I'm here. It's Osiris's voice, and he's saying that you have to kill this thing, because if it gets free at all... They can. It can let all the devils know you're here. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Well, here it is. But huh. currently, it's trapped. And uh, with your knowledge of the Arcanum, uh, the runes on these chains would would not allow it to communicate through any magic means. Uh, it can't. It can't move itself, and it cannot benefit from rest. Wow, this thing is being tortured. Yes. There is signs all over it that this guy has tortured the devil. But isn't it known that, that we kill if you kill a devil, it goes back to the hells, right? Yeah, but it'll take like a year for him to come back together. So that information will be gone for a year, and you guys will be done here within a year. Okay. And you can probably guess that that's why Killian hasn't killed it. He's maybe trying to find a way to handle it better than just killing it. Mm. 
But that is that is Osiris warning to you, and Amelia, you hear that warning. Mm -hmm. Osiris believes that this this Cambion is a threat to your safety. Is that we have that devil trap stone? Is it glowing? Uh, it's on Amelia. It didn't vibrate when I went by it, right? Um, producing it, there is a, a dim glow, and maybe just with a bit more damage. He, he could be capturable. Okay, yeah, I mean, those, well, I'm, I'm going to keep going after our host, so Thrak can talk to me when he wants to talk uh, to me about it, when if he does, so. All right, I'll 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 keep that in mind. So Osiris well, says it needs to die, but it's not that it had to die this very second, right, so. Yeah, yeah Osiris is just saying, this devil has seen you now. It's like, it's too much, it's a risk to let him live. Even though you guys are in disguise, it's, the, it's our smell. Okay. Could be Romeo. Could be the fact that you all said your names. It could be that too. That was probably a mistake. Yeah, I'll I'll think about that. I'll, I'll keep following those for now. All right. All right. He he leads you down a hallway, and as he's walking, um, he, he's sort of just chatting idly about the the house. He goes. You know, this is one of the greatest marvels of our engineering ever. The house itself is alive in a sense. Well, it protects me. So pretty. You lived Indeed. here for a long time? For years. Wow, how old I are am you? of some importance around here. Hey. I'm what they refer to as the circuit. The circuit? I decide where power goes. Whoa. That sounds like wow. really important. What's power? Like strength? Ah, it's what keeps the lights running. A wow. city afloat, even. And that wow. behemoth guarding our waters. Oh, yeah. The, the one grid. Here. Wow. But while I'm in here, nothing happens that I don't desire. I took a lot of precautions building this place, Lord. I found if you don't start with a strong foundation, it's like you're building a home out of cards. You know what I mean? That's uh, right. I don't really, but that's okay. And you must not have ever had a place you felt truly safe. How do you build a home out of cards? I'll have to show you sometime, organic. Oh. I mean, Amelia. No. Amelia. What? What? It's organic, yes, yes. The, the T1 we spoke with, he called us that too. Yes, it's a, a term I've perhaps grown too used to saying. It's, um, it's a reference to the fact that you are not metal. Not pure, as they would call it. Is that a bad thing? Uh, oh, you know. Here it is. The air here is so vile that I would say, unless you find a clean source of oxygen within a 24-hour period, get used to coughing for the rest of your life. Oh. Well, that's kind of my But situation. don't worry, the interior of my house is a clean source of oxygen. Oh, good, good. I have devices in here that can control the flow of air. And how much of each gas makes it in. Wow, you have a lot of, uh, appliances. <laughs> Mostly magic. Hey, I you was said an you... wizard. You said you could direct power anywhere. Yes, from a certain point, not just on my being. Are you aware of any soul forge? <laughs> yes, I'm aware of what has made most of us. Right. Any, uh, do you have any information on that? <laughs> I'm aware of its location, yeah. But we shouldn't worry about that for now. We should get you out of the city first, you know. Somewhere safer. To Biggs? The good Biggs? To Biggs. Yes, that would be the preferable place to be. Because he's a soul forger anyways, we'll need him to help, so... Right. Oh, 
What, what do you mean by that? And how, how is the Soul Forge relevant to our rebellion? Oh, um, well, uh, I'm sick, and supposedly the Soul Forge can help not make me sick. Uh, um, Amelia and everyone else, actually, everyone else, this is more prominent to you. You watch as Amelia suddenly faints on the table. <gasps> what? I catch her! What? Catch her! I 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 catch her. Well, I mean, you you, know, you stop her from hitting the table. She goes, she goes oh, oh dear. You have Amelia? A, Amelia? Have you, have you been Amelia? Amelia! Amelia! The, the gas? You haven't exerted yourselves, have you? I'm unconscious, right? Yes, you are unconscious. Oh, for... What happened? Amelia. Anyway, Amelia, we'll, we'll find out in a Amelia. second. Um, here, let's... There's a bed in the corner of the room. Place her upon it. Not a bed, a couch. Go, go ahead, put her on the couch. I, r I rush over to the couch. What's wrong with the bed? What's wrong with the bed, huh? Well, I don't want to mess up that fine leather, huh? As <laughs> two minutes pass, Ishtar passes out, and so does Frederick. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, oh dear. Oh boy. What is going on? I, I couldn't begin to tell you. I. This is oh no! Strange. Is he lying? You is son he lying? of a bitch! Is he uh, lying? Uh, Ma'am, please uh, put your hands down. I, I, uh, it's probably the air outside. It, it's affected oh, their system. No. They need to rest. You son of a bitch! I, I, I hold my breath. I hold the minute that I see these two pass you out. Begin I begin to hold, hold your breath. breath about three minutes in. You you, you yelled at him first and let him explain. Uh, Aurora, everything goes dark. <laughs> Oh no. I, I <laughs> Well uh, I sir, guess uh, Sir Frank. Yeah. yeah uh, I did tell you I had <sighs> the cleanest oxygen. I yeah. just maybe added a bit too much. Yeah, I understand. Just... Toodles You fuck. <laughs> Frank, oh my you hit God, the bed. <laughs> you hit the table. Oh my god! As each of you has suffocated to some regard. Oh. But you're not dead. And with that unconsciousness, tonight's session comes to an no. end. No! No! <laughs> no! No, 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 we can stay up. It'll be fine. I had coffee, I can stay so, up. So, we'll tune in next no. week. <laughs> uh, to find out what no. happens in Primaris Paradox. And remember, <laughs> don't trust the no. Dungeon Master. Good night, everyone. Don't, don't trust the robots either. I will never trust